Oh my god. What, what's this meme? Where's the thing that I'm recording? What? Oh. Why did it... Why did it swap them? Can I? Can I? Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. It does not matter. It really does not. We're playing a video game. We're playing Banjo and Kazooie, also known as Banjo and Katui. I've called it a many names, but I think the important part is that we acknowledge that I've gotten happy. Why did they switch this, though? Did I switch it? Was I the real video games all along? Who knows? What did I not do? Um, there's the magnet. There's the baby boys. Um, heck. I don't know what I have and have not done. In the line of have and have nots, I don't know. I really don't know. I need to get the quality insurance somehow. I need to get quality insurance. Because I think there's something we can do there as well. Oh wow, it takes 70 to lock the top of Cauldron Keep. Also, uh, a lot of people are like, uh, about the, 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 the... What's it called? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Let's take a look see at the floor plans and see if I can wiggle myself together. Yeah, for that I need to be at floor three. I need to do something there to unlock access to floor two. Yeah, I need to look around floor three some more. I need to find batteries. I, that's what I need to do. I need to find a whole bunch of batteries. Ugh. There's so much to goddamn do in this goddamn game. Why is this le like this level is 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 what I like to call it's thinly spread, it's a thin kicking of a video game. And the final results that while it's not bad, it's 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 um it's a very slow burner. I don't know how slow of a burner. Um. Excellent. Yeah, the problem with this level is, is this is probably one of the, the slowest burning levels in the game. Like, dear, dear goodness. Also because we have to move around in Banjo a lot. Ugh. Ow. Well, luckily I've got regeneration powers. I don't care. But don't don't zap it, please. Ooh. Take this battery. With us. Um, what battery stations have I yet to fill? Now there's an all-American question for you. Wait, wait. That door goes. Oh, it goes up there. Yeah, I think I know where that door goes. Um, let me just look up the wiki, because I want to know where these batteries belong. I need to I need some some help. Need some tips, some tricks, some sweet some sweet help. Um it doesn't actually mention that on the wiki. That's stupid. I guess it also didn't mention where the doubloons were. Points of interest. Side A, side B, side C, side D. Basement. Okay, I know where one is. I know where one is. It's in that, uh, it's in that place. It's in that place in that time. Um, on floor three somewhere? It's in the... Heck, man. I'm, I'm tapping my chin, but I can't find the answer. Also, fun fact. You can't you can't pick up Kazoo when you have something in your backpack. Um, it's not in the electromagnet chamber. Um, let's go over here. I think I want to go to floor three? I think? Ugh. I 
I kind of want to mop up this level and, and be done with it. There's something up here. I remember that. But I don't have the wing power to do anything about it. Hmm. Okay, okay, there's another place we need a battery. It's on floor five, four. Ooh, ooh, that might actually be the place that I was thinking of. Heck, there's no way up there. There is no way. Unless you're me. This just takes us down, doesn't it? Why is this here? Why is this here? Like, there's literally no reason for that to be there, because there's a warpad here that just takes you between the two locations anyway. The washing machine can't use it, so who's this for? Also, I'm really, really frustrated that this game, for some reason, thinks it's okay to tie um, the interacting, the inability to interact entirely to your animation frames. In that, unless Banjo is in his idle state, he does not interact, he just goes to whatever combat animation he has ready. Okay, so we are there. Where I most likely want to be is somewhere over there. Oh, there's another battery! Cool. That's the end of that question. Anyway, now we got some climbing ahead of us. After that, we gotta pick up one more battery and deliver it. Wherever it goes, to be fair, I don't know. I'm not a genius. Floor or full of four, that's where it goes. I think that's the last one, too. There can't be that many batteries. There just cannot. That is illegal. Also, some notes I forgot to pick up. I think that might actually be all the notes. Uh, I need to get over there, actually. <sighs> okay, we got all the notes. Zippy skip yahoo, as they say. Her. Why so grumpy? Don't be so grumpy, Banjo. Be a happy bear. Scratch my ear. There we go. So what's in the boiler line anyway? I forgot. What's there to do? What is a boy to do? Ba -do, -ba -do, -ba -do -boo. Oh, this is quality control, isn't it? Yeah, that's quality control. That's where we do the kazooie thing. Okay. That's where we do the egg thing. But you will give me an egg. Why is my back being funky? I think my back just feels funky today. Whew, I forgot how high that jump is. Why are there so many jump moves in this game? This game is, is just like, oh, mm, mm, them sweet, sexy jump moves. Let's give everyone a jump move. How do we... Because I just thought about it. How, how do we get to Weldar? I need to look that up, because I forgot. Oh. Oh my goodness. 
Apparently, I want to play this without anyone. I want to do this by myself. As a Kazooie. Okay. Let's give it a go! I gotta pack some Twinkies. Again. Why, though? Sure. Give me, give me the old one, two, what's four? Twinkies. Because they just couldn't help themselves after the last game. This is a great way to organize your factory. So essentially, you got to you got to you got to micromanage your your synergies. Now, in case you were noticing, we can get some super speedy shoes. I saw you, big boy, big blue. Come on, get get over here. Naughty boys. Naughty, naughty. I want him. I want him. I want this blue. Oh, so many blues. Oh, so heavy now. Okay, this minigame is fun, kind of fun. Mostly because it does stuff. Also, this really shows you the, how the lighting engine works, doesn't it? Time to deliver my final delivery. Hey, 55. Cool. Heck yeah. I like how he calls it play again, even though he gives a strong impression this is like a factory condition. It's like, okay, are you a factory or are you not a factory? Still, that's a, that's a good use of the lighting engine. Like, actually, to, to, to make a minigame, it gives you some peripheral vision. Um, we gotta pick up another battery and deliver it. You are a noob. Oh. Oh. Okay, I need a, a breakup pad. Hmm. I need a split pad. And now I might as well just go back to Rumba's. It's an easily accessible pad. <laughs> Unless the map happens to tell me where they are. No, it doesn't. Yeah. I can't be bothered to remember everything. I can't be bothered. So back to Bumbos we go. Pick go back to Bumbos. Pick up the battery and deliver it. Where again? Where was the last battery? Station. I'm not a noob. Whoa! My hopes are up. My dreams have come true. Where is the last battery, though? Up fourth floor, where I haven't been much because there's not much to do up there. Because the only thing to do up there is the things. I'm not the best player in the world. You bitch your gosh darn ass if I try to say that, someone's gonna go like, I'm the best player in the world. And they just, just give me a wedgie. How about that? How about that? God dang coppers. I think they're the tin tops. That's what they are. Amazing! Oh, 
boy, sir. So that I may smack you. Ow. What a walk. No, I don't. I don't know who this would this be. I don't know anything really. I'm not that. I'm not that hip. I'm not that up to date on the hip modern scenes. Do I go there? Or, um, I might go over there. Yeah, this is quality control. No, this is the cable room. It's not even quality control. I want to go to. Where's quality control? So what's the wire room again? Let's take a peek! We got Aralzeon Martin Mart Marts 11. Sita Real. And that guy. I don't know. Maybe because I'm not an affiliate. Maybe because I'm not a, a real boy. Maybe because Twitch is like, you're not a real boy. Heck. What the heck just happened? It's probably because I'm not a real boy. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Ooh, it's a fan button. The extractor fan is now required. Oh, this is quality control, isn't it? This is where quality control takes place. Yeah. I'm not an affiliate. I don't have enough followers. Um. By the way, thanks for following. But I, I don't have, I don't have the, 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 the Twitch thinks I'm a baby boy who should be, who should, who should, should shut his little mouth and, and, and go to bed. Ow. Get Well, let's go get Kazooie then. We got some quality to control. What's in here? Nothing. Looks like a breakable, but it's not. There is a multiplayer mode in Banjo Kazooie. In Banjo Tooie, I mean. Um, it's not the most exciting. I think it's it mostly does the, the 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 first person view thing, and you just shoot each other a bunch. It's not the most exciting multiplayer mode, especially because the controls are gonna. Eh. But you know, they could have done worse. They could have just spent their resources on, like, things people wanted. I, I don't think a lot of people are like, Man, I wish I could play Banjo Kazooie with my friends. Wow. I don't know how much this game costs. I think it's available on Xbox. Uh, it's like one of them, them, them fancy downloadables. But I honestly don't know. I'm not a... I'm emulating it. I own a cartridge. I own the digital version. I, I'm, I, I am allowed. I, I fall in the area of I'm not... My, my, technically, I think it's still piracy, but... It's a legally copy, is, is the point. But they already have my money, so they're probably not going to complain. There are better people to make an example out of. Is this live? Of course this is live. That's me. For reals, you have to push the fast forward button. Well, let's go do this boring part. Because this just gets messy. So this part's just kind of dumb. Because uh, if you if you fail, you just have to go walk out and do it again. And it's like, come on, you could have just not done any of that. God dang. God dang. Okay, so what we're supposed to you're supposed to shoot? You're supposed to shoot the rare. There we go. And every time you shoot it, you get a new pattern.
Heck! That was a big heck. Oh, I have to shoot right now. There we go. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Are they actually gonna do this? Is it available on PC? If you emulate it. <laughs> I think that they actually fucking did this. Holy sh... Why? Why did they do that? So in case you know what happened. They put the jiggy on the... So... Let me let me let me just let me just put this out. I've complained a lot about this game, just making you do shit for no uh, for no good reason. Just making you like do, do, do a thing. It's it's great. It's fun. It's fun when you do things. It could have put that jiggy in front of me on our side of the thing. Nope. It put it on the side. We have to go and get transformed and go to a special place to get to the washing room door. They, why? Why did, why are they doing things like this? Like they, there's so many points. I'm like you're just arbitrarily elongating the game. And I'm just it makes me makes me makes me very sad. Makes me a sad babe boy. Uh, I need to turn to a washing machine anyway to push the button. So let's go get Mumbo. Uh, okay, we gotta go get Mumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. Um, get him to, to do the thing with the thing. With the, with the, the magic Koopa Jooper. This is, this is turn on high speed. This is faster. It's faster. I swear. This is the fastest way to do this. Huh. What did it be again? I think 4 2. Oh, whatever. 4 2. Thank you. I got 12 viewers. What the hell is going on? Where are all these nut jobs coming from? Who are all you people? It only says that I uh, Hopper GG showed up in LQB Games. But other than that. So where's the electromagnetic room? I think it's through here? This is such a like. Ugh. Ugh. What does Mumbo do in Hellfire? I think he does revive. I think he brings someone back to life who, like, froze over. Goodbye, Super Gold up, up full. Oh, man, you're, you're, you're a Notch Apple. Wow. Wow. So the reason you need to do this is because there's a big old magnet. That was still there. Now I got 30 viewers. I'm cursed. I'm a cursed boy. Blast it. It's done this twice. Once with a crusher and once with this giant magnet. Hello there, Satirial. I'm surprised we don't have a lawsuit on our hand. Okay, now I'm back to eight viewers. Good. I was beginning to wonder. I'm beginning to wonder if I suddenly had become a famous. My name is plastered on every wall. My face embroidered on every sweater. My toenail clippings found in each sandwich. I'm so... I'm really, really pissed off. Deep, deep within my heart of hearts! I'm frustrated. For a very simple reason. And that is that I can't sleep. Because for some reason, the last few days, every single night, after 11 p.m., people have been partying. And they've been making loud noise and I can't sleep. And I'm just a sad boy. I'm very sad. I'm emotionally distraught. <laughs> and I'm so tired. This game has such a fancy lighting engine, and then they use like the most generic drop shadow of like just, just make a flat version of the sprite and of the the model and splash it on the ground. I really like Mario 64, where it's like a little uh, circle boob. We're gonna go back to. I guess technically we could have dropped down the pipe, but there's no reason to do that because it's technically not faster. Technically. <sighs> what a bunch of work for one jiggy, and it's not even good work. It's not even fun work. I'd like to point out this is like all we have to do with this as well. Do I want to find all the the little uh, washdown boys? I still have to go. Ah, might as well. While I'm, while I'm in this form, I might as well. It's not even that tight of a limit. It's not even that exciting. It's like you just do it and you're done. Oh. 
the repair depot has hereby opened. My foot went to sleep after five seconds of sitting on my lap. How amazing! Heck this banana. I say heck this banana. I will just want to go up the stairs. They clearly never intended for you to do any of this. Wow. That's a giant hitbox. I just want to fall down the, the thing, because I don't think you experience fall damage. Most transformations don't, I think. The man was done in by a particularly hot pair of pants. Bombs away! Let me check if the, the wiki has a little, little, little baby boy guide. That's the that's the clue I forgot. <laughs> Eat beans, baby boy. <laughs> Two more, huh? Two more skivvies. I know where one is. Okay, apparently there's one on floor five I can reach. That'd be nice. Oh no, I forgot about this boy! That explains where the last... Okay, then I know all of them. Do not be sad, boy! I like how it's there. So, so sparkly. So sparkly. But I still gotta push a button. Still, why do they insist on making the servers? I guess they just want to do certain things certain ways. They're very specific about this level. <sighs> we don't even have to do that much. We just have to walk over to a place, push a button, go back, push, go, do the thing. Then kick Welder's ass. If he has one. He might. He might just be one of them buddy people. Actually, he's a giant welding machine, so he probably does not. Which puts us with an important conundrum. How does one kick that which has no ass? We all know the answer to that one. Kick him in the face. I'm not gonna do your stupid, stupid video game thing. Nope. No, I'm not. You can do all you want, video game, but I'll never listen to you. You push the little button. This button serves no other purpose than to take up your time. Which I guess sums up a lot of this area, doesn't it? I guess it beats them having like a big animation like door opens. Like they like to do sometimes. <laughs> I don't know why they have such a they, they're not doing it as much. Like before there was like every single door <laughs> open, it was like, ooh, doors open. And I was like, eh, doors open. You can move on with your daily lives now. Now what I don't get is how this backpack stays on. I think that's the I think that's the biggest problem with the current Banjo Tui lore. But hey, we're done. I think this is the last washing machine thing we have to do. Other than oh yeah, we gotta pick up the the jiggy. 
Then we'll be done with the washing machine. What do they even do? Like, they're in a cold place and all that? Like, that, those are funky places. Bow, bow. All right. Oh, my goodness. Oh! <gasps> Magic happened! I got a follower! Abracadabra... something baboo. How are you doing? So am I! It's a rhyme. It's... it's... I don't... I can't read that name. I can't read it because it's too small on my screen. Let me check. Uh, oh man, we got a whole bunch of people. It's probably Martz or, or Marchuin. I think it was Marchuin. Uh, we got Bobin, Bobiniqua. We got Banther22. Banther. We got Commander Root, Electrical Longboard, lo Lone underscore P underscore Wolf, Merits 11. We also got Marchuin. We got Pixeleander, Satanial Shouter Games, and that guy. Who will go unnamed for reasons not particularly clear. Weird that it doesn't like specify like Floor 3 is the, is the, is, is that place. Give him names, man. Give him names. Give him, give him a little spice, a little bit of pepper. Just a little bit. Just like a little, little dollop on top. Take a little teaspoon, put a lot in. And go. You got it. I can't believe I'm making followers this fast. I feel. This is not the right place to be. I'm at the wrong place. Oh, it's a level. F it's a 4 4. I forgot. It's the fourth floor. Because that's where I did the thing with the. How could I be so dumb? I guess because I'm super tired. I'm not like tired, tired. I'm like. Ugh, tired. The kind of tired where your brain stops working. The kind of tired where you're going to be like, I'm going to call the cops now. I don't want to stay up every night having the base wake me up. I keep going to my sister's room, who's like not here right now, to, to get sleep because it's like, oh, I either, I either, I either, uh, it's, for some reason it's quieter there. It'd be better if they just didn't do it though. Uh, where do I go? Over here probably because it's the place I can enter. I'm gonna complain about the realism again. Why are the barrels alive? What is the deal with these barrels? So how many do I have here? There should be two more to collect. And I remember the one that... Okay. There is Weldar, there is the fan room, there's the thing, then there's the beebity bop, the hobbity boop, and the hopscotch kazoo. That's more than three, but who cares? What matters is that we had to make this detour for no particularly good reason. Remember how in Banjo Kazooie every single thing you did had some purpose or meaning behind it, and now you don't. Now you just do things because the game wants you to do things. Ah. I want to get to Hellfire Peaks. It's such a fun level. It's a great level. It makes me go yippee skip yahoo. I don't know. I just like Hellfire. I like Hellfire Peaks theme. It's just such a strong theme. It's like a thick cream. Because it's like one side's hot, the other side's cold, and the transformation is, an, is a snowball, and you shrink when you're in the fireside, you grow when you're the, in, the, in the snow. Which I probably took a long time to get that to work right. I don't imagine that was something easy to program. But we can't get one of the items. We need a special power for that. We don't have yet. So we have to do a uh, welder and the, the fan. Unless oh, there's something else, in which case I have to look at the, the, the jiggy sheet and take a look. Take a sneak peek. But hey, we're done at the higher floors at least, which I'm happy with because that means I get to pick my nose. I'll eventually come back for the Jinjos though. Ugh. Do I have all the Jinjos? Tell me, tell me, tell me there's not much I missed. Ah, I only missed one page, one Jinjo. That's could have been worse. It could have been bad even. I've got ten viewers. I feel like hot shit. I got two digits. I had the hockey sticks a minute ago. Which, if my rocket power lore is to be believed, is a good number. But now I'm just 10. Nope. Please don't. Please, please work. You're an automated system. You automatically toss me onto the thing and it doesn't work. That's, that's sad. 
it's a failure of the game. Do I have all my eggs? I got most of my eggs. I would like grenade eggs, though. Thank you. That's fire eggs. I don't want those. I'll live. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't make a slowdown time power. I guess because they didn't want to make the game any easier. Hey! Cool! If I get that one, if I can get that one, that'd be great. I think that is you're supposed to try it. You're like, oh man, I want that page. But actually, our, our, the real boss fight, the real Dark Souls is down here. This actually feels like a Dark Souls entry, though. It's like a big ladder and a big arena. You're like, whoa, look at all this arena going on. Oh, we need a shock pad to get out of here, don't we? Oh, by the way, mm, nuts and bolts. This is where they referenced nuts and bolts, and they were like, oh, this is what this next game is going to be, nuts and bolts. I feel so bad for this guy. <laughs> look at this sad boy. I say a vacuum cleaner. I like because it's like we're gonna kick his ass. Probably because the boss music's playing. It's a clue. Visually impaired welding torch. It might be. I wouldn't know. He only has six, six of the health points. Oh. oh, he's doing that thing. <gasps> Nuts and bolts! See, he referenced the game title! Reference the video game. Whoops. I thought I could do that. No. I like that's how that's all he does. How about how about you use the circumstances instead of just flopping around like a fish, sir? Ow. Are you kidding me? Oh no. Now he's a proper boss. Oh, wow. Midair. Damn. I didn't have the rage. And I don't seem to have the the proper brain power for this. A brain needs to work. Yeah, but uh, the, this is rude, sir. They 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 get to to walk over the electrified stuff, but I can't. Oh, wait, you can actually stand far enough and he can't hit you? Heck, this fight's not going my way.
Could you not do that when I'm jumping? Jesus. I made it! That's a zippy skip yahoo for me. Zippy skip yahoo! Thanks, Banjo, for breaking everything. I got 75 views now? 11 viewers? I got the hockey sticks. I didn't know today was Banjo Kazooie Day. Banjo Tui Day, I guess. There goes the fam. Oh, I love it when they stop like that. Mm. <laughs> I feel so bad for this guy. You tried your best. Got a big mouth, so no one can blame you. Well, there was some health over here. Neat. But as we can all see, believing in yourself is more important than being good at video games. Because as long as you can pull the plot threads to get plot armor, you'll always win. Snake Eater! There we go. Just gotta, gotta, gotta reference that old video game with snakes. Why do they just make this room a bit smaller? There's nothing stopping them from just making a smaller room. Because they wanted the impact of the player hitting the ground and being like, Oh no, I gotta fight a boss after I decided to smash my grand face into the ground. Why did I think this was a great idea? At what point is smashing your face in anything a good idea? Beep boop bop bop beep boop bop. Where are we now? Oh. Are you kidding me? I mean, it's a jiggy, I guess. But also, we got two jiggies to get. One requires us to have a trans an ability we get in the next level, another requires us to get it. <sighs> but it requires us to come back here, which is kind of out of the way. And also, I don't know where the last Jinjo is, so that's great. It'd be great if I knew where the last Jinjo was. It'd be great. A nice pitter patter sound. Gotta go pitter patter, pitter patter with the little pawsies, as they say. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Who do we have in the chat right now? We got Ahmet, 44k. We got uh, the usual suspects, Jace, 87. We got Tigrand and Vizard. What a what a what a whole cast of characters we got. Of course, I will assign homework. So y'all better have your fanfiction pens ready. Your homework is write a, 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 a sorial ship fic that doesn't make me want to fuke. I want it in my desk. As in, in my desk, not on my desk. If you put it on my desk, I will burn it in front of everyone. And then imagine a much worse version of what you wrote. The first game was better, at least more streamlined. Where do I want to go? Because I have a bunch of options as to what I can logistically do. Actually, I don't know what I do. 
I think my best option is to, to see if I can get up there. There's nothing up there, but it's fun to look. Where are they? Oh, they're over there, aren't they? Thank you, Bob and Iqua. Although I don't appreciate incorrect spelling. My goodness. I just wanted to go up there and watch and go and go and go to a place. Point. The problem with with this game, Babaniqua, is very simple. Let me just, let me just lay the low down, hold down. This game wants you to do a lot of stuff that doesn't lead, that is like not interesting. It's just it's just like go walk back and forth a couple of times. That's great. And it has a bunch of powers that are just like, here's here's another ground pound! Here's another egg. I mean, the eggs it does a good job with, but... There's so many, like, abilities that are just jump high. Or reach a, a high up place. And it makes me go... Mm. You know, after a backflip and a double and a double jump and all that stuff, you really don't need more of those. At least they didn't make too many context-sensitive things. Let's go to Wooded Hollow. Let's go stuff our noses. <laughs> I could actually stuff them while teach her down my nose. I could do it. But I don't get paid enough to do that, so... I'm just gonna go hatch an egg then. Wait, do I know how to hatch an egg? No, I don't. I think that's something we'll learn at another point. Hot, hot, hot. So hot you could hatch an egg. Anyway, let's go do this busted up piece of shit, because it doesn't work properly in the N64 version. It's Jiggy's challenge. Ugh. I don't care where these things belong. Why is it showing us the train station? Why is that the place that's like, this is the, this is the place to be? Looks so the same. My my brain can't process these visual signals. Look at this piece, masterpiece. Oh, well, that was wrong. Oh well. It's too brown. My eyes just can't process the information properly. That doesn't sound good. It's too brown. I mean, I could say that about a lot of shooters nowadays. It's too brown! The human eyes can are better at telling the difference than other things. Not in browns. Beam, bam, boom. Beam goes and shoots a door. Pew! Why did the door explode instead of start up when nobody knows? It's a mystery to everybody. But I don't have enough G to attempt challenge 8. Come back later when you're not a fucking idiot. <laughs> I just like to imagine that they're all just like, Haha, you're such a moron. Ooh, I just remembered. We can get a health upgrade. As in the royal we, for I am a prince, and you are all subjects. Now give me your lunch money. Wait a second. Wait just one, one gosh diddly arn second. Where are the last few notes then? Hmm. I'll have to look around a bit. In Quagmire, I'd assume. Give me my health. Health. I need nine. I think unlike the previous game, there's actually more honeycombs than there are like necessary for the thing, so hmm. Because 
Because there's one place I haven't looked around here quite yet, and that's on top of this thing. Where they could have easily hidden some notes. None. They hid none. Great, now I have to look around. Oh, that's what that is. That's where it, like, fell down and slammed into the ground. It's big butt. Big ol' booty. What's up there? Is that a, that's probably the train tracks, or it's implied to be those train tracks. I wonder if those actually have a texture. Or if they don't, they might not have a texture. There's a, there's a lot of ways you can make something look like it has a texture, but it doesn't. In programming terms, we call them pseudo-textures. The difference between them and real textures is that when you rub up against them, they burn your eyes out and kill you and take your lunch money. They're very aggressive textures, as you could say. If you needed to give it a word. That was nice. <sighs> oh, let's just take care of the boss, shall we? Don't we have to do some work first? If I recall correctly, the, the bosses in these areas are kind of dumb. You, you kind of want to kill them as fast as you can because they're annoying and they make a whole bunch of heck, 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 heckle happen. How about those guys were we saw earlier in um, Place McGee? Well, that's rude. There's no baby boys here. Okay, now I remember what I'm supposed to do to get the boss. Okay, this is gonna be easy. Gonna be, gonna be, gonna be an open shut case. I gotta go over there and, and blow that up. It's as easily as it is said and done. Just get down here. Start shooting me. <laughs> Baboom. Ow. And where's the entrance anyway? There it is. Let's go. Let's go kick this man's butt. Let us not procrastinate. Lettuce. Don't forget your lettuce. We got cannot allocate memory, and we got Pascal Ray, and that one fat boy. The second. What 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 a colorful set of characters. We better be working on that goddamn fanfic I ordered. Got till Friday. It's Chillabilly! He's hot and spicy. Look at this boy. Look at this handsome boy. Wouldn't you smooch him? Would you not kiss this boy? You probably burn him off the... <laughs> the 12 foot pizza.
Actually, I, ah, I forgot. I forgot something. There's something I wanted to do. I actually wanted to kill uh, the other guy first. Excuse me for, for, for getting ahead of myself. A profile pick is a tiger. Because why not? Look at cat. I mean, if it's my face, then you'd see my face the whole time, and I'd be like, oh, no, I have to look at my face. I don't think anyone here wants to look at my face for any more than they have to. You guys are particularly ugly. I mean, would you like to look at someone's face the whole time? I think people overestimate the value of a face cam. Oh my goodness, please tell me I can just get this power and not have to worry about this. Please! Please! Oh my god, no! Uh, why are you doing this to me? I just want to learn some, some sweet and spicy moves. What do I have to be again? Where's the, the, the thing? So that's over there. I have to be up, up, up somewhere. Huh. Um, where is a passage that goes to the place that is cold? I do not know. Now that I think about it. Well, y you know it's not my face because I don't know. I can't. I can't. I cannot confirm nor deny that. Put it on the maybe pile. Anyway, we are slowly choking because we are inside a volcano. Do not enter a volcano without proper gas mask equipment, please. And don't and, and don't you dare wear one. Don't you dare wear one of the kinky ones. I'll know. I'll know, and I'll be like, no, 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 no. And I'll take it for myself. Ha! -ha! Things are expensive. A Volcano sounds like a Pokemon. Who is this Pokemon? It's Volcano. I don't have an accent because I'm speaking English since I was a little big boy. Since I was a small and precious child. That being said, I'm glad because in because Dutch people have the worst accent. They 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 speak like they have something in their mouth. Like my dad cannot say his R's. Yars. It's a jiggy button. I wonder what will happen if I push it. If you used to play this as a kid, so did I. I was a child at some point in my life and I played video games back then too. What a coincidence. Just let me read the signs! I'm just gonna make a save state because I can't read these signs. <laughs> Which is actually a tip regarding the train. The train will overheat or something. Can I even reach that from here? No, I can't. Okay, I thought this was like a train connection I could make. Heck. Um, 
my Christian stream. More likely than you think. I wish Como stopped being inconvenient so we could play Mass Effect again. So I could shoot the guns at the people. That man needs to stop spitting. That is gross, sir. And not appreciate it. Just thank you very much. Look at this high octane action of waiting for the hand to go away. Wowzers! There's a reason why in Banjo uh, Kazooie they did that with an enemy, and what they did with that enemy is very minimal. And you could kill it. Wow. Although back in the day it actually cost a bit of effort to just duplicate one thing from one space to another. Ooh, ooh. If I could just. Okay, it's over there. Okay, okay, okay. I can do this. I can do this. Why don't I get a cam? Because why should I? Why, why should people see my face? What, what, what benefit do you get out of this? What is, what is your extra mileage? See, so if you see my face, you can make a fake identity using my face. And you'll be called Streamer the Second, and I'll be like, no! I, 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 I'm not going to argue, but girl trampas were spook. Teach me how to go in my pack and be a big boy. Go in your pack and be real big and be a big wholesome boy. Yeah. Goodbye. See you later. I can't imagine being very comfortable in that super hot soil, but... Bombs away. I think it says H2O on the door. Oh. What other games I play ball? I will. I was, apparently, I'm not allowed to sleep here. Um, I was planning to play. Uh, I had in time, and I play Mass Effect sometimes. But Mass Effect, I play with this guy, Kokomo, who has some problems having free time sometimes. <laughs> Even though he does nothing. All day, technically speaking. It's 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 funky business. I don't know what I'm going to play after I'm done with Hat in Time and Banjo Tui. You'll just pick my nose. I'll just sit on the stream and I'll, the whole time I'll pick my nose. Go. Maybe I'll download Blast Core. I want to play Blast Core. That's another game for my for my younger yesteryears. Of a starry-eyed child. Go away, sir. Go away, sir. I just want the notes. Sir, I don't want to say hello. I just want the notes. Oh, that reminds me. I need to go over here to pick up a fish. I can't believe I'm going to pick up a fish. Magic Kazooie, I think, um... Uh, I mean, technically speaking, I just pull up my, uh, my playlist. He's not a lion, he's a tiger, and he's not my fursona. There's a fish. For some reason, you can pick up this fish. It makes no sense. Actually, the lion, you, the, the tiger, used to be my persona. He used to, but then he stopped being it. It's how life goes for someone like me. Who can't make up his goddamn mind. I am as old as the stars are wide. I just prefer not to talk about it. It's the aliens! They do this because you might have done the aliens later down the line instead of immediately when you found them in Jolly Roger Bay, in which case they have to remind you of this when you show up.
I like how he's just dead. He's like, I'm dead. I'm dead. I used to be alive, but then I was dead. There's Jiggy. How do you get it? I don't know. There's probably an answer to that question. There's a big old button. It takes a big old special pre precious snowflake to get that one. I think the way you get that is you go through the fire side. You have to cross through it, and then you have to go up there, and then you can pick up the ice, the snow at the top. It's a process, to say the least. This guy has like huge feet. Yeah, they got huge feet. What's with these huge feet going around? What am I trying to do again? I'm trying to get up somewhere. Uh, yeah, I need to get that. Let me just get this. Play Minecraft. I haven't played Minecraft in forever. It's been years. Fortnite, no. No. Humph. The cookie butter has an opinion that I disagree with. Banjo Kazooie is a great game. It has some terrible final levels. And Banjo Tooie is a lot of at Dead Space. More so than Dead Space. To the point that I've come with a strong opinion that my little baby self was an idiot for liking these games as much as I did. Maybe I didn't like them. Maybe I'm misremembering, but these games are certainly not 10s out of 10s, which for my case is a very high standard to cross. If you want to earn that sexy, beloved 10 out of 10 on reviews I don't do, you, you better not do what this game's doing. Better have them sizzling fire eggs. So what you called? It's Chili Willy! That's a dick joke. He's a cold and icy jacket, instead of hot and spicy. Oh, I guess I broke it when I entered the level and talked to him first. Ten out of ten is a game that does a very good job at what it tries to do. Nintendo X10 is a game whose entire experience manages to successfully deliver on the experience it's trying to deliver. Like, I... I'm, I'm gonna put it like this. There's there's, there's two ways I'd rate a game. It's on the technical proficiency of the game, and it's on the, the, the experience itself. From a pure technical standpoint, Angels of Scale Wings is a fucking shit game. It's a, it's, it's a six... It's like, it's a passable product that does what it needs to do. But from an emotional perspective... Like Badger Kazoo does a great job being a good collectathon. Gets gets big marks there, big points. But heck if it doesn't like screw up at the end. Like, Click Lock Woods is terrible! Look at his tiny body! Look at how tiny! He's a tiny willy! The heck! But like <laughs> Click Lock Woods is shit! <laughs> Doom is a good classic. Doom does does an amazing job at, at, at trying to be what it wants to be and does it well. 
I still wouldn't call- I- I- Hmm... Hmm... Would I give Doom a 10? Would I give Doom a 10? Would I give Doom a 10? It's a question I don't have an answer to. Would I say that Doom is the ultimate experience? I, I I might be biased because I've been playing the Kako Wards through, and uh, when you play the Kako Wards through, you get a very positive experience of Doom. Except for those few wads where it's just like garbage and you go... <laughs> but then I remember that Focus Island was made. This is great. Click Lock Woods is a great idea. Executed not boringly, but poorly. Click Lock Woods is not exploration because you do the level the exact same way, the exact same, like four times. Every time you go in a little spiral, you go inwards and you slowly go up and then you're done. There's nothing to explore. Especially not because it's the same level four times. But if you miss anything, you have to explore that level more than four times and then it just gets annoying. It's not a trick shot, it's I don't want to do this. I don't know how it's done. I think that's the way you're supposed to do it. I think she has to move slower in the snow. How about you how about you you chill that mood, boy? With your her What's up here? Let's take a peek. Me getting my face burned off. Thank you. Oh, this is something we have to do later. We don't have the train yet, so let's not bother. Do I work? Not yet. I'm gonna get some repairs done first. She actually moves slower in the snow. That's neat. That is a neat deet. Putting that under the neat detest category. Get on your job, wiki managers. I mean, I don't pay you, but it doesn't mean I can't bully you around. Wasn't this guy from some other game? I mean, I roll. I guess if you quantify that as sports. I roll and I take walks. I do try to exercise and I'm trying to lose weight. Like an adult. I think the reason they made the snow make you slower is because they made the snow and it was like, okay, we well can make the snow, make the snowball grow. And they were like, let's give it more functionality so that it doesn't feel like a complete, like, taped-on feature. Let's give it some emotional depth. Anyway, here's a woman I'm gonna brutally murder. I think, okay, can I destroy her? No, you can't destroy her until you talk to her. So we kill this, this lady and we kill her husband. Because we're terrible people. Do I program? I don't program at all, because I don't have I don't have ideas. I'm not an idea kind of guy. And as a result, I don't do anything unless someone tells me to do something. What I do, I do good. I can learn good like a good person. But having good grades does not translate to being a good work person. I'd love to do stuff for free, because then I'd have more experience. More to put on my fucking thing. That's Mr. Pants. He is a mascot of rare. He's just a dude in his underwear. What a mascot. What a, what a touching story. An emotional heartbreaker. 
I like how this guy moved. And you got some banshee because we spread some bed sheets. There's the, the free easy peak. This house. He's a sled. <laughs> Go right up there. You got a divorce. <laughs> How do you need 15 scart sockets? For that matter, why would you want 100 hertz scanning? That's... I think it's because, uh, isn't it PAL machines that run at 40? At 50? Someone runs at 50. Yu-Gi-Oh card game. I, 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 my brother has, like, a collection of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't know if he ever played professionally, but he was like, I got Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I would have loved it if for this widescreen. Let's just take a closer peek. I would have loved it for the widescreen. They actually made it stretched. Mm. Like they made the pixels uh, wider than they are tall, so that it looks bad. This is like, yeah, you got a widescreen, but the 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 the, the signal isn't widescreen, so it sucks. I don't play card games. It's expensive. Why do I stream? Because I want to. Because I have time to waste. Because I enjoy it. Because I'm having a blast, and I'm totally not trying to kill someone, which is good. These are these are positive effects. I think we can all agree on that. I mean, if you want me to, to, to scooch up my murder schedule, fine. I'll scooch it up. But I'm fine procrastinating for now. Anyway, we've got to get Mumbo involved in this. Mumbo, Mumbo's got to got to jam some 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 magic potatoes on this guy's mouth. This is here for a reason. This fire is almost exclusively here because when you're in snowball mode, you might not fit in the door. <laughs> so there's a way to kill yourself. Yuck. Scooch. What a word. I'm gonna say it again. Scooch. No, I don't live by myself. Maybe someday. But I'm a, I'm a very dependent person. Maybe someday I'll grow up. I'm busy with college, though. Which is um, very slowly but surely... Why is this guy here? Oh, because you gotta live with the babies. Because Banjo has to cut over here and, and pick up a child. Can't break this yet, gotta... Uh, I got another... Oh, that's where he goes. I got another follower. It has not registered it yet. There we go. Abracadabra, Alakazam, someone's following me, so you can. Whose name is it? It is Cannot Allocate Memory. Thank you, a bundle. Here is a bundle of sticks, and your complimentary sushi chef. Don't wear them out in one day. I won't tell you what to do with the bundle of sticks, but I also will not not to tell you what to do with your sticks. But there's a, is a, is a giant, just a massive train button. I don't know who wanted to have a train button this big, but they wanted it. I'm gonna rub my eye. <sighs> I rub my eye. What a mission! I got another follower! Heck! We are attaining astronomical heights. An elevation of the art. Truly elevated! Who is it? Let me peek at my preview window. It's turned 101. A bundle of, I'm not saying anything with a bundle of sticks. Like I said, you do with that bundle what you want. You follow because you feel... I don't want you to do that. Go go away. Shoo! I don't want people to follow me because they want to... They want to they want, they, they wanna be here. Because if people start following me because because they're like, I don't know, I feel bad for you. It makes me feel worse. <laughs> it It's not a pick-me-up. <laughs> the pity follow is the worst kind of follow. But I do need that 50 to become an affiliate and become and become a true boy in the eyes of Twitch. 
And Daddy Twitch will acknowledge me. Anyway, let's get to reviving. Mumbo, I can't believe it. You're actually good at your job. Holy heck. He blew them boys up. I think that's all he does, though. He does those two revivals and then he's out. Craft some revivals. I mean, I guess this is like one of the rare times when, like, okay, mechanically, Mumbo does something, I guess. Remember when all he did in the levels, he walked out of his house and just walked to a panel? That's all he did. Saberman! Yes, this is a guy from another video game. What's with all the throwbacks, Rare? Being a little bit more blatant about them, too. Oh, he still needs some heat. I think he's still gonna blast him. And the panel goes away. Look how Momo gets his head stuck in the ground when he falls. Heck! He's trying to kick me. I'm not wearing a kick me sign. Go away! It's not consensual. Don't do it. I do play RuneScape. I do, in fact, have played RuneScape. <sighs> I don't like the modern version, though. Alien Dad! Luckily, there's an Alien Dad. Wow, his magic barely touched him and he was already alive. Revive is a strong spell. Wow, this is probably the most exciting this game has been in a while. I love this. My brother is arguing. I can't believe you hid your, your kids in these places like these. Let's see who's in the chat that I wasn't here before. We got Jack Gunner Stap a Stap -ja. We got Nutella Schnecker. Hmm. And we got Zivora. How exciting. Consider me excite. Oh, yeah, we're gonna hatch that kid. I don't know why, but because we have to hatch that kid. Don't ask. I just don't ask, okay? This game has some weird logic. I think it's also all Mumbo has to do in this, in this world. He's done. Good job, Mumbo. Give yourself a little pit-pat on the head. Job complete. Go kick up those feeties and enjoy the weather. This is the Mumbo. This is where Mumbo is. In case you were wondering. Going for a walk down the lava side, having a blast, having some gas, enjoying every minute we got on the lava side. They're just helping. What are they? There's so many of them, too! 
there's significant obstacle in this area. I want some deep lore, thank you. I'm going to extract that deep banjo because we lore. It does sound like that song. Thank you for noticing. But I won't tell. Heck, you've told. I told you not to tell, but you told anyway. My scheme. My plan. My clues. The lore unravels. I really was hoping to kill Ch Chili Willy first, but heck if I'm ever going to replay this game enough to, to get to that point again. I imagine they'd have different dialogue, or they'd ex or they just change places. Like, they literally just have two lines, but they exchange who says them. Oh wow, they just have lines for you coming back. But now he's an upgraded boss. Don't you lick me! And make a lovely slurping sound, but that doesn't give you the right. Gave him free slips. Oh, that's freaking rude, man. How about you put that tongue where the sun don't shine? Actually, if you tried to do that. I think we. I think. I think the way we works in the Netherlands is they're like, I don't care. We don't care. Just don't. Just don't go overboard, and it's fine. I feel bad for these. For this guy, he just wants his fucking food. <laughs> I feel bad for this man. He just wants his food. <laughs> Look at those feet. Why did someone put so much effort into his feats? Someone had to make those feats happen. And considering how, how plush they are, I can't help but imagine who that dude did that. Winky winky nudge nudge. Don't drag me before the court. That wasn't slander. I don't watch much Twitch. I don't have time for video. Well, I do have time. It's just that I prefer to do other things. Because I'm a lazy bum. Bum bum bum. <sighs> I just remembered Hellfire Peak's a big level with a lot of stuff to do. I don't want to do stuff right now. I just want to sit on the couch and eat a, eat a banana. Just go crunch on a banana. Skin and all, as it sh as was meant to be eaten. As God intended. I don't know who Bike Man is. I get a strange feeling, though, that he's not the Bike Man he, he, he makes himself out to be. Just a hunch. I'm rem I, I remind someone of a bike man. Well. Well then. See where that gets you. What a bad little place. Well, let's go take care of the snowball stuff. I really think it's only two things. It's the big button and that button, and then you're done, I think. There might be more, but let's just take care of this for now. I don't know if reminding someone of, of Bike Man is a good thing or a bad thing, though. I have no answer to that question. Which puts me in a sore spot. 
guess I could take care of Saber, man. Whatever. I've gotta, 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 gotta throw the pepper in the pot first. Just, just say hello. I'm a snowball. It's a big heap roll attack. Now I'm a tiny boy. I'm also, he's also constantly happy. He's having a great time. It's a good thing to be to remind someone of Bagman. That's great. So, Snowball Man grows as he touches snow. Unfortunately, if you're too big, you don't you can't go certain places. So try to stay in manageable boy size. It is the good size to be, and a wholesome size for all. You can shrink by taking damage. Now I must do my big heap roll attack. I have a short stream delay. How exciting. Tell my mom. I'm sure she'd love to hear. Ooh, we can get Dragon Kazooie. Let's go get Dragon Kazooie and call it a day. That seems like a nice cutoff point. A big heap roll attack. I wonder, I wonder if, if, if Wumba Bumba would, would fly in today's culture. Considering that she's not the most sensitive racial stereotype. I mean, she's a strong, independent woman, but she can't even go outside her own goddamn house to pick up the, the shit in her, in her backyard, so... Uh, how do we do this again? I think you have to go from the other side and then roll around a bunch. And you gotta be fast! With your big heap roll attack. I don't think it's... That tight? Oh, wow. oh! I just noticed something. It actually takes. It actually keeps uh, track of the fact that you roll over your backpack and thus move up a bit. That's that's a neat deet. One of these days, if I actually get a wiki and someone is keeping track of all the neat deets, I'm just gonna make a video where I constantly talk about neat deets. And it's just gonna be like, it's gonna be like, why are you doing this? And my answer will be pettish. Then pettish. Sorry, sorry, future week. <laughs> For real? Looks like you'll need more weight. <laughs> I don't know what better Twitch TV is. I don't know anything. I'm a, I'm a very, very oblivious boy. You may call me. I don't know what it is, though. I don't know what it does. I don't know where to get it. So... Hong Kong Kazooie. No. This game is very specific that you have to be the smallest boy. You must be a bite-sized boy to fit in here. <laughs> Gotta get them BBTV emotes. What? I need to stop brushing against the microphone when I'm picking my nose. That's frustrating. Oh, Let's get the glide. And then we'll go and pick up the, the thing. For the train station! Or I could just leave the level. No, let's, go take care of, let's go take care of that guy. Let's go do some things while we're on the road. You kidding me? We need to get Mumbo out again? How frustrating. Feels good. Are you kidding me? Uh, let me join my fellow Bigfootians in her. Uh, 
at him. Let me pull up that map. Yeah, we don't learn hatch here. Wow, the last level to get hatch, huh? Ha! Huh. <laughs> Almost eighty six million. That's cool. Guha. <laughs> After this, we're gonna get the key. We're gonna get the ice. Ice are gonna turn Kazooie into a dragon. We're gonna get the fire breath and the infinite fire eggs. Get in the bag. This is a hold up. Get in the bag! I was supposed to do Dungeons and Dragons today, but I was too tired. And that and everyone else was like apparently doing. F uh, celebrating the solstice. <sighs> I wish people were doing not that, so I could sleep! Be great! Oh, I think I'm gonna stop soon. I'm tired. I'm just so tired, out, little boy. Not quite calls it a jigsaw piece. Nice. It is one. And that's what I'm gonna say. It is one. Wow. I can't believe this guy is being racist. Bears in their own adventure. What has become of this world? Whoops, I keep bumping my mic. I need a real mic, but I don't have space for it. That, and I don't want to constantly be shuffling around a real mic. I'm glad with the headset. Well, I got 89 viewers. 89 views, I mean. 11 viewers. I got the magic hockey sticks. But it says guha, but it's duha. You can clearly hear the D. I have some serious problems with whoever transcribed that. I want him in my office, and I want some answers. No! I wasn't paying attention. Bikest man. The most bike of men. A badge of honor, one might say. Which weather's a curse. Some may call it a blessing, others yet call it a curse. For the bikest of men, the bravest of men. Not the bike zest. I now have 110 views. Whoa. Whoa. Let's put the brakes. Split the brakes. This has got to stop before I become an arrogant piece of shit. Let me check out. Let me, ch let me, let me check out all the, the boys and girls. We got Dylan Bird Seven. That's a nice name. 
We got Quizil. Res Evil 678. I like I like this guy's name, Dylan Bird 7. That's that's a That's a cute name. Heck. Knew it. It is a cute name. I'd smooch someone with that name. Do it. There's no one who can stop me. Fuck! I get I get a notification. I don't know what it is. My follower count has gone up. That guy, that Resident Evil guy, is now following. But my follower count still eight. Thanks for updating dashboard. It's not like this is pertinent information to the current circumstances. Unless someone unfollowed. In which case, I'm slightly sad. But I, I said I was going to get Dragon Gazer, I'd get it. It is loud, because I, I, I haven't arsed to change it, because I didn't think anyone would do it. I was under the strong impression it wouldn't even happen. So excuse me. I guess that's why they say assuming makes an asset of you and me. Although the ass is mostly me. I don't know when I start a stream. Excellent. I started streaming like a couple of weeks ago or something. Although I streamed before on YouTube before that. But YouTube is not, uh, not hot shit. Heck! What a sneeze! My body shivers. Brrr. Oh my, you know what? I don't care where this takes me. I don't care where it takes me. I can't believe I got 12 viewers. I'm such a hot shot. You know what, I'll, 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 I'll lower the volume settings. <laughs> Uh, where's the button? Is there a general volume slider I can just slide down to to nothing? Oh, really? Fifty percent? Let's put it out at twenty. I'm a real I'm a real boy. There. I'm only gonna lo lower. F uh, I'm only gonna lower the volume on on follows, so that when someone eventually does something other than follow me, I'm going to regret it. Which is fine by me. It'll be a painful reminder to my ears of my growth as a person on Twitch, and it will hurt. There's another way to do this, by the way. In case you're a real impatient boy. I think, like, anything works that isn't a physical attack. So. Get out of here, boy. Oh, no. I just remember where the train button is. It's not up here. It's down there. <sighs> train button's down there, isn't it? It doesn't mention. This is frustrating. It doesn't mention train buttons here either. But I recall the train button. Hey, I don't know what the hell deals with that. I just know it doesn't work. Because I remember the train button being down there somewhere. And it's like a whole ordeal to do that area. Well, 
I said I'd get Dragon and Kazooie, so... The actual reason that doesn't work is that it uses color buffering, which just generically doesn't work or plays very nice with hardware emulation. I know that because I looked it up. Okay, how do we get over there? There. That, that's how we get over there. That's the answer. I had a question. I was given an answer. That's nice. That is nice. Huh? What is nice is finding this fucking train button. Oh no, this isn't even how to get there! Oh my god, I'm so mad right now. I'm, I'm five seconds away from just saying, you know what? You know what? That doesn't help me. That doesn't help me. Why does it go to the H2O button? You know, people underestimate the dangers of um, dihydrox uh, hydroxide. Most people call it monooxide, but uh, I don't care. Consider me the illegal boy. It's over here. Because it's all light, so it's probably going to go outside somewhere. Oh heck, we're over here. Wherever this is, we're here. Oh. I don't want to do this change. Can I use invulnerability for this? Because the invulnerability ability should work. There's nothing. There's no reason it should not. But... Don't forget, this game is fucking peachy about shit. There we go. Because by now, you've forgotten that ability even exists. I got another follower. Fuck. It's gonna chime at some point. I got, I got ten. I got the double digits. Heck. I need an adult. There we go. Why does it chime twice? It is Banthrop 22. Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Just remembered there's another kickball tournament! Fuck! I'm angry now! And not the good kind of angry. I got Someone made a clip. What's that? What is, what is a clip? Why did that happen? Who did that? Why did you do that? Is that legal? Someone needs to tell me what a clip does. Because it happened, and I want to know what it does. Jesus, just hang on to the thing. What does it mean to have a clip? What's going to happen? Am I going to get arrested? I got achievements. I got achievements. It's probably I was probably the one for getting ten. Thanks. I got got the one for ten. Whoa. I need forty more and then I'll be an affiliate if I can get the three average viewers over the last thirty days. Well, I'm gonna have to, to remove that clip. Oh my Why? Grumpy, 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 grumpy! Kissing the face with my ground. Get in the bag. I'll be honest, I am, I'm pretty close to done right now. <laughs> oh my goodness, hang on to the ledge, Banjo! I don't want an aneurysm. Okay, so this is all switch thing. I don't know if this actually... Does this even lead to the switch thing? 
I just want to find the train switch. I don't have to get them tonight. I mean, it's a Kazooie switch, I guess. I can't. <laughs> uh. This is great. This is a, this is a honky dory hoot, hoot nanny. Where are the boots? Oh God, I got another follower. What is wrong with you people? Do I have to tell you to go away? What if I just wave my hands erratically at you? Is Bella the dab master? Heck, now I'm getting sick memes. I'm feeling better today, try, but I'm starting to slowly but surely get destroyed by the fact that I'm trying to find the train switch and I can't find it. <laughs> It's just a Cheeto. Great. I'm looking for a train switch, and I'm getting Jinjos and Pages and kickball tournaments. I don't care about these things. I just, I just want this one thing. I just want to find train station and get and get Dragon Kazooie, and, and feel like an adult who can who can take care of himself. But I guess that is too much ask, isn't it? If it is, I see a Sappy. Whoa. Whoa, I forgot oh, I was in the Discord <laughs> Yeah, I saw you here and was like, the Sapphire one to chat, and I was like, I'm fuck not it, I'm in the chat. Ch oh. Streaming! That's why I'm in this chat. Oh. Oh. You can say hello. Hello, stream. <laughs> hello! Fucking everything up! Well, I didn't know you didn't want us here. <laughs> I'm just trying to find a train switch and I can't find it. You're finding a train switch? I don't, okay, well, uh, I'm, I don't want to interrupt. Sam, I need to lower right. the volume. <laughs> You guys yeah. Try. Yeah. Well, I'll, we'll pop if you out. just want to stream, we'll pop out. No, 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 no. You can stick around if you want to. Oh, uh, I do feel like talking to the Zaffy. It's been a while. It has been a while. I've been, I've, for reasons that I still don't fully understand, I've been super. I've just been like, Ugh, I don't want to talk to you. No, you've been mentioning a lot of it with all of your like, just not in the moods. But Aww. this is just so funky that I'm just like, I don't want to. I, I totally like, forgot. Are we getting doing. any better? <laughs> oh right. Well, okay, it's a little bit better because you want to chat with us, but... The one up Triforce, yes, I was extremely grumpy last night. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm tired because I can't sleep because for some reason everyone is partying every night after 11 and I can't sleep. Oh, Kill them. Hugs! I mean, no, don't do that. That's illegal. Uh, be angry at them. I'm going to call the cops if this happens, like, again. Yeah, file a noise complaint. I don't know what the uh, rules are in your area and country for noise complaints, but file one. I assume it's just because of the solstice, because there's another guy on Discord who's like, yeah, it turns out my whole family is drunk and is just waiting out a hangover <laughs> because they're in Finland. Huh. Also, Grizzler1337 has followed. I need to mention that. It, it is by, um, Twitch, by Twitch law that you must mention every, everything and everyone that happens. Unless you get extremely uh, extremely popular and you're just sitting there and you have to be an auctioneer to explain all of it. Like how oh, right, Twitch1337 has followed. We gotta follow. We gotta follow. We got a subscription. <laughs> I know a guy who I I've watched a few times who actually ha has to say a memorized jargon extremely fast every time someone follows and subscribes. The problem is he has like this absurdly hardcore British accent. So it, it just it, it it sounds like words, but I mean I can't even I, I actually cannot even mimic it because it's just like you know what I know the, I know the way you can do it. Put marbles in your mouth and bread, and just like talk. Also, <laughs> yeah, Saps. I didn't realize this until literally this morning when I woke up. Uh, I actually am working earlier this week for the weekend mm -hmm. because the one teacher who normally takes a ten to six shift is on vacation. Heck. So I have to work at ten instead of eleven, which is good that I noticed it. <laughs> And yeah, so that was fun. And yet, the other guy was still there before me. He has no like. The, the guy that everyone wants gotten rid of, or yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, the new guy is pretty okay. Okay, good. Oh, hey, more Smash Bros. Melee memes. The only Smash Bros. that matters. My hand looks like this, so her hands can look like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
that means I just like I like how mean spirited these are. Let me just take a look. Let me let me let me pop let me pop that link so people can see it. <laughs> that one's, that's great. I just like I just like how ex just mean spirited they are. Just like yeah. <laughs> There's another one I found where it's uh, DW from Arthur being a melee player, uh, looking at a sign that says all players must take a shower before entering. Well, this sign doesn't apply to me because I can't read. <laughs> just realized uh, that opening this passage makes it easier to get to the flight pad of Hailfire Peaks. Man, I'll never understand, especially with people when they're in hotels, why you s would skip a shower. I don't know. Yeah, but... I think it has something to do with the fact that it's implied that you have less time to do stuff. Because you're at a hotel. It's implied that people are lazy. Man, I'll take 10 minutes to wash myself over, like, an entire day smelling awful. No, you know what uh, hardcore gamer nerd thing I've literally never understood? The neck beard. Yeah, I'll shave my face, but I'm gonna leave the rest. I'm gonna this kill doesn't look, This doesn't look stupid. Advanced train switch, yes! Yeah! Switch that train. What are you? Oh, you know what? I need to buy Zala another random game. Zala, what did I get you yesterday? Uh, what did you get? There's something I actually commented was a good game. Oh, yeah, it was actually- Oh, yeah, Dungeons of Dreadmore. I got to see the entire Dungeons of Dreadmore. Oh, oh Dungeons of Dreadmore is pretty neat. I love yeah, that game. Good. I don't know my wish list, and it's the sales. The sales should still be going in nine days, right? I'm actually planning to not, uh... Go crazy. I'm planning to not buy anything. I found out that I've spent, like, at least $10,000 on Steam. Oh, hey. Uh, they now mention your totals. Yeah, you can find that. Uh, Latch showed me theirs, and theirs is 11000 Jesus Christ. I'm going to look up mine and again. Mine, I'm just going to look it up again. Mine is 200 That's because Claire buys all your games. Claire, you've bought me some, and there's this one amazing thing called a Humble Bundle. Fair enough. Yeah. Technically speaking, those kinds I of get gifts, so. So much stuff from Humble, Humble Bundle. Well, I mean, clearly Zala doesn't want me to actually give gifts. <laughs> you say as you send the gift. I said yes! Wait, how much was that? I was like, thing. You Why can throw. This again? You can throw babies! <laughs> So, okay, let me let me just pull out the calculator on this. Let's see how much money I've spent over the last few years. Uh, there's a thing that tells you the total that you've spent. It tells you the totals, old and new. One is from before 2000 and something or another. Uh, 4014. Ah, uh, God, I, I'm using a converter, so I accidentally just typed in a whole very big length. 15 plus 4... Uh, 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 uh. Eleven thousand six hundred and sixteen dollars and thirty-two cents. You've almost spent as much as Latch. Yeah. Oh my God! If I who spent that honestly money, like... has been worrying me a lot with their psychotic level of uh, play on GTA Five. Yeah, they're still playing. Uh, Is Latch last, okay? Uh, I don't know. I don't talk to them that much anymore because I've told you why. I'm starting to think not, because staffs, in the last 10 days, they've played about 60 hours of GTA 5. Heck. Like, if they're online, they're playing GTA 5. That's a day job. That's more than a day job. They've done more in their job than I have in a uh, week and a half of mine. I mean, I'm just, like, sitting here thinking, dang, GTA Online's not even that good. <laughs> what are they I doing? <laughs> what is they're so attractive? I just love online. how that's where you go with this, Claire. Oh, God. I, I, mean, yeah, I, mean, I know that sounds terrible, but that was like when Zala was telling me this, that was the first thing the problem has. Like, that game's not even that good. <laughs> I don't even have to up here right now. <laughs> it's kind of like if someone told me they were playing Dead by Daylight the, for, for 60 hours in a week. It was like, Jesus Christ, why? There are many better options. Oh man, yeah. I might buy myself, uh. I need to probably buy myself Crazy Taxi. Why not? Crazy it's taxi. $1.20. No. Where is it? No, not purchase for myself, you stupid Steam. I don't want it. Alright, there we go. Control yourself. 
wishes are crazy. You're talking to Claire about controlling yourself. So what are you playing, Saps? I seem you've been playing that Project 64, but I'm not sure what it is. It's it's Banjo Tooie. It's a game that I, oh, as I replayed it, have slowly and surely come to realize is kind of garbage. Yeah, there's a reason some people say it's not as good as not nearly as good as the first. The one. thing about the thing about Kazooie is that Kazooie has a couple of really good like early game levels, and you're like, okay, this is a nice game, and then you get to Map Monster Mansion, and then it's like, okay, and then Rusty Bucket Base, like, ah, eh, it's all right, and you get Click Clock Woods, and you're like, fuck, and then you get the quiz, and you're like, fuck. But here it's like it starts off with a bad level, and I'm like. It's so much, um, it's so much just doing stuff. There's so much walking back and forth for no reason. I have 570 games on my Steam account, apparently. I have 8 VR and 2 softwares. I don't know what that means. I have 6. Uh, things are acceptable with it, probably. Uh, yeah. I also, oh. And I just got Crazy Taxi. Sexually explicit messages. <laughs> <laughs> there you leave your messages. I have... Hey. 234 games, one software, and six VR. I'm having fun. Someone You're wants silly. me to draw a big waiver. Having fun and spending money. What is my Steam level? Because I, I, so I realize it's an unfortunate thing. Um, I have like, I don't really have anything I really want to get at the moment because I have, I have like three or four different remastered games that on the PS4 I want, I want to play. I know, and I got a few games I'm waiting for because. Freaking Spider-Man is coming out this year. Yeah, also, I got the other problem. Points that Monster Hunter, they keep on doing updates, and I keep having to play. I know, it's, like, I'm still having fun. Arkham Ball Rock came out yesterday. <laughs> I'm still... Oh god, stop it. We saw the ultimate death of a person playing Monster Hunter. Oh no. He gets a hammer, he goes against the hardest hunt in the game, and instead of fighting it, he lures it to one area where the uh, AI will act a little weird. Jumps off the edge, turns around and hits it. Jumps off the edge, turns around and hits it. And proceeds to do that for four minutes until it dies. Yeah, he just... he, he And he was using the equipment that would enhance his jump attack power. So basically, he was cheesing it so hard and just... It looks so lame. The people using, like, the meta bow builds... Look like they're having more fun. Hell, when Dragon Piercers came out, I thought that was gonna be a boring meta. That looked amazing. It, it basically turns your entire setup build into find the right moment to snipe the monster with a bunker buster. How is that not awesome? <laughs> Plus, it wasn't like stupid cheesy meta because you actually had to aim perfectly. And I, I accept those kind of metas. Metas where you have to work for it, I don't mind too much. But when it's like, oh man, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I can just heal myself. Uh, if someone swings at me, I just run at the speed of light. Uh, don't worry though. If I play like crap, no, and I don't you play down Overwatch. Me? I do not. What? I know that someone in chat like you play Overwatch, and I'm like, no. Uh, that was that was about yeah, like, I'm I've basically played Overwatch. I just don't. It doesn't really do anything for me anymore, and. I was only getting on to get skins, and then it's just like... Hey, Claire, they just announced something that's gonna annoy you. No. Lonely Pictures has announced a new movie coming out. Monster Hunter. Silk. <laughs> that's worse! Silk? Uh, <sighs> Silk is a Spider-Man character that's basically a terribly written OC. Oh, no. Her name is Cindy Moon. Oh, no. Already, last name Moon. We're getting there. Oh, no. uh, she is Korean. No. But in New York, the Korean isn't bad, but it's just she's a minority. Uh, she is an experiment to reproduce Peter Parker, who lived her whole life in a bunker, and was given spider powers just like Peter, but is better than he is at it. Oh no! And her spider sense is much, much stronger. And when she appeared. All of Peter's love interests mysteriously became total dumb bitches. Oh no! And so all of them ditched Peter so he could fall into the writer's pet. It couldn't be more OC if they tried! I know! Yeah, yeah, she's such a. I hate her so much. No, a lot of people hate her. Like, they introduced Silk and Spider Gwen at the same time. Spider Gwen was met with 
tons of love, both for her writing and character design. Still, people are just like, where's MJ? She dead now. <laughs> nope, she's done now. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows who Bike Man is. Bike Man? Yeah. Moomin Rider? No, they're asking me about Bike Man as in a, a streamer YouTube guy. Oh. I don't know him. He streams bikes. Him. He streams bikes. I got 19 viewers according to him. Let's, let's see who's new on the listing. We got Bandit BR. We got Bidosh. We got Dumbledore's. And, um... That's kind of it. Neat. I'm, I'm, the I'm, I'm, person I'm, in charge of... Uh... Um, Silk is the same person who made Ghostbusters 2016 and is making Venom. Okay. Where the guy just sounds so, very... So, so, so let's just exist in a world in which this is going to turn out right. How good could it possibly be in this situation? Silk well, Zero we're in, Venom? The... We're in this uh, Sony Spider-Man universe where there's no Spider-Man. Oh yeah, they lost the- oh my goodness, this is- They only quasi have the rights to Spider-Man now, since he's appearing in the DC- the uh, main Marvel Universe. I thought I wanted to say DC Universe. Yeah, he's, because this he's is gonna such appear. a bad idea, it sounds like the DC Universe. <laughs> he's gonna appear in Batman v Superman too. Hey, he'd make the movie not suck. He'd probably add a lot more than he'd take away, yes. He'd, he'd tell Bruce, Bruce, what are you doing? I'm Batman. It's you know, that's not wrong. an excuse, right? No, it's not an excuse, um, unless you talk to the fans who think that everything's an excuse because he's Batman. You know, I want to find the comic panel thing of Batman saying that if Batwoman, you know, doesn't do, do what she's told in his eyes again, he's going to, like, not let her be Batwoman again because he has control over her in some way, which he doesn't. What happens when I get to the third strike? You won't be Batwoman anymore. You have, like, absolutely no authority over me. I'm Batman. Okay. It's Chubby yeah. Meatball. Who is a prime? Prime with the boost. Actually, what's even worse? Is all, apparently, before that, the reason he got mad was how she handled saving people from Clayface. Yeah? Oh my goodness. I just realized something. I'm such a dumb. I could have just taken the fucking train to where I need to go. Oh, she killed Clayface. Remember that time where Batman threw darts in the mortal guy's face and shoved him into a rocket without any pressurization and launched him into space? That was strike two. I like how that's strike two. Oh, yeah, she, she, uh... It was, it was a it was a power struggle between the team of bat people where Kate basically took charge and stated that there was no other there was no option with Clayface other than to ne per permanently neutralize him. Oh yeah, I mean how do you even keep him in jail? Pretty And I guess Azriel and Batwing went with her. Because Batman just missed her. Batman just Batwing. I... Okay. You wanna know who Batwing is? <laughs> Batwing is literally Nightwing, only he wears a more bat outfit. <laughs> I'm dead serious. He he's he, he's Yep. His costume design leaves lots of to be desired because he's literally just a Nightwing design but more bat like. More bat like. Oh, because one of the things from the sort of okay Batman Incorporated. Yeah. You see, the problem with Batman Incorporated is that it involves Batman funneling money into it. And unlike Tony Stark, we aren't supposed to know who Batman is. Plus, there's a reason I kind of dislike him, and this is going to sound kind of bad. Okay. Be strong, baby. So he's black. He has AIDS. What a great I know way to start off. Going. Yeah, I know. It's like no, it's not because of it's not because of his race. Batwing, in design, his abilities, and such, he comes off a lot like. Uh, 
what's his name? Falcon from Captain America? Uh, Sam Wilson. Yeah, he comes off a lot like Sam Wilson, especially in design. Because he can fly with a armored suit with wings. Yeah, and he's called Batwing. All of his abilities are basically the same. He has like little like non-lethal missiles, he has little gadgets. I don't know, it just it just seems like they took the that character and went, let's make him Batman. Heck. I guess at that point him being black has nothing to do with it, I apologize. <laughs> it's just uh it's the whole DC problem of taking what could be an interesting character and making it Gotham. Yeah, it's like you guys didn't really have to make him related to Batman. You could have just made a cool guy who can fly. I mean, he he really is just Batman with like one of his specialized armor suits you get in those action figure packages. <laughs> I mean, Bruce Bruce probably had one. Uh, in the new uh, continuity, Batman has armor so powerful he can handle tank rounds. What? Does yeah, Batman just yeah, have a suit from Crisis? No, he has like 10 suits, so they decided that Batman needed to be able to win any uh, fan-based verse battle, and so they gave him Iron Man suits. It's you, ever wonder, you ever wonder how they can keep uh, calling him Batman when they just take away everything that makes him Batman? He doesn't need to be creative to stop crime now, he doesn't need to be stealthy, he's Iron Man. He's just like, unstoppably perfect. I think the problem with Batman is that he's so popular they have to put him in everything, so they have to make him be able to do everything. Yeah, he's kind of the uh, the Wolverine. Wolverine. And the problem is Batman no, is actually, really supposed to be a street level character, and they're like he needs to fight everything. Yeah, and originally when he was on the Justice League, he was still a street level character, which meant that though he stood with the league, he was their tactical advisor, and he was you know their intelligence the money. gathering person. Mm -hmm. And the money. You know, even Stranger. <laughs> I just love it if, like, Bruce, don't forget, you're the money. And he just goes all. You're the, you're Bruce, you're the. If they just tell, call it, say, you're the money. <laughs> and he just goes all. What? What if instead of Batwing, they they just took a character and said and like put a talent on on the team, which they did once, but I guess that's gone now, or in this continuity, or we just talent don't care disappears anymore. Time. But I mean, I know honestly, Safi, you're not wrong because. One of the biggest problems with the new 52, the previous DC ruling, which was the dumbest thing they've done in the last 25 years. Uh, as it implies, new 52 had 52 comics, right? Yep. And every quarter they would drop uh, two or three of the lowest sellers. Heck. So here's what the big problem was. Batman was the starring, central, or pivotal character in 19 of them. Oh my goodness. Uh, if we count characters that were from Gotham or dependent on Batman to exist, 26. Literally half of it was Gotham. Superman was like 13. Uh, Wonder Woman was like 4. The Justice League uh, core members were like another 6. There's only room for 6 not core comic books. So those books were always the ones getting canceled. Because they didn't have the time to build a fan base. I, I... You know, this is like one of those fun situations where like there's a massive problem, but no one can find the problem because they keep looking at it the wrong way. Yeah. It's just... It's... And one of the biggest problems with just building the wait, new 52... Wait, wait. Sila, I'm getting made fun of, and it's your fault. Good. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Still, I, I adore the Swiss Strike Three. <laughs> I want, I want to see the comic where they, he goes, he says, "That was Strike Three. And then she gives up. She's like, you know, you like, you're right, Batman. You were always right. Everything I did up till now was not as good as your th your thought process. The writer looks at his work. 
Oh man, that sounds terrible. But then the there's fancy... anything by. Then to ruin Batman more, we have Frank Miller. <laughs> well, well, that at that point, Kate will just be like, you know what, Batman, you're right. I'm not Batwoman now. I'm Stripperella. Okay, I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the other big problem with New Fifty Two. So when they did Crisis on Infinite Earths, the first big reboot, you know, to consolidate all the comic worlds. Can I can I just get this in real fast so people know what's going on? Because they just hurt me yeah, scream. Sure. Um, I hurt my sister screaming. So I looked outside and I saw her. And usually when that happens, it's because she forgot her fucking key and I have to open the door like I'm some sort of porter. <laughs> but it turns out she just wanted me to walk her dog because I missed her call. Puffer. But yes. Puffer is important. Also, I've seen a lot of people who are like misunderstanding what the hell the, the lawsuit is about between Epic Games and uh, Blue Hole. Because it's actually a really very important lawsuit. <laughs> it is. By an egotistical psychopath and Epic Games. No, 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 no. Listen, wow, we're close. The actual lawsuit is that Epic Games... You know, you know, the, the, you know that Epic Games and, and Pub, that Epic Games owns Unreal, right? Yeah. You know that PUBG uses Unreal. Yeah. You do know that in most licensing situations, people send code back. And they're like, hey, listen, here's some code. Go fix it up a bit. Here's some bug problems and fixes. Yeah. Do you know if, if it's super fucking fishy if, like, the person who owns the engine is like, but we're just going to make our own version with the information you sent us? Yeah, the problem is it's not that hard to make this game. I know. But it's still super fishy, and they have somewhat of a point. <laughs> like, they have more of a point than people think they do. And that's the thing. Is This is a, is, a, is a very good question about if you license an engine, do you have some degree of protection from them stealing your idea and using your code? Also, there's the other problem that at least parts of Fortnite predate uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Yep. It was just that they didn't have any idea of what to do with it. And then PUBG came out and was like, oh, let's just do this. Fair enough. But yeah, it, many people are like, it's because they're doing battle. No, it's not that. It's not because of battle reality. It's an actual legal claim as to whether or not they actually stole their, their shit. Which is a fair case. I, I, I think. I, I think the biggest, I think the biggest problem here is that whatever this case is going to do, if it actually starts leaking out, Epic Games is going to have a problem with trust because no one wants to sign up with an engine that's going to steal their shit. Even yeah. if it's like a one-off situation, it's still a very bad mark. But yes, back to what you want to say. I'm, I'm sorry for interrupting. Yeah. No, it's fine. This is an interesting enough topic. I think that regardless, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is probably gonna die it's it's not because it's already gone down by a significant amounts they just yeah. released an expansion though yeah and they didn't make the game work at all I now they know. released yeah. event fortnite, is, fortnite is actually playable also fortnite PUBG is looks playable cool. by yeah i like the art style for fortnite it makes it stand out instead of gritty military but uh the thing so the Crisis on Infinite Earths, the reboot of the DC Universe to actually make a universe instead of just throwing comics at the wall and hoping they stick. When they planned this, they planned it for four years. And when they were done, they had a binder that they kept in the main DC offices that had every character's background and every interaction they'd had with each other. That way, if a writer wanted to work with, say, Black Canary, he'd go and he'd open the Black Canary and he could find all the information, everything you could possibly need. And if anything was being changed, it had to be very carefully taken up by the upper levels. That way, when the new transition happened, all the writers had the same information. New 52, they planned for like six months, told the writers to do it, and then didn't have any information set up. <laughs> so all of a sudden, they have someone say that Tim Drake, uh, that... Uh, Dick Grayson was the first Robin, and then another writer says that there's only been one Robin in history, and is Damian Wayne. And then we have three different backstories for, uh, whatever her name is. What was her name, Claire? Uh, Kate? Ding dong, wing dong? Uh... Hello, El Gram... El Gril... El... El Gla Granlino. What a name. My my head cannot handle that many syllables oh. or, or whatever. Oh. Oh. 
trying to eat chocolate. I'm hungry. I want Chinese. I want to get Chinese today. I didn't do it last night. I got some honey barbecue chicken strips. I was like, man, why didn't I get these before? Wait, no, I didn't get these before. Huh, why did I stop getting them? Buy it's into one. Oh. <laughs> just starts chewing it. Mmm. Oh. Right. It's all coming back to me now. I just spent $7 on these. Mm. I get this a lot with, um... What is it called again? I get this a lot with uh, certain, like, Pringles. I'm like, mmm, Pringles are nice, but they're good, like, break in flavor if you're eating a lot of sweets, but otherwise it's like, ooh. I like eating cardboard. Donna I mean, Troy. It's nice as, as like a little variety, but not as a staple. Like you just have around for, for once in a while. That's who it is, Donna Troy. Wait, a, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. For hmm. some reason, they decided the band cannot allocate memory. I don't know why. Unblock him. What the hell? Oh wait, now wait. What? What? Did he do that intentionally? I don't know anymore. What? <laughs> this guy got banned or something. I don't know what's going on. I'm confused. Unless that's like one of those me things you can do where you say me and it like looks like oh, if he did that. Oh, 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 I'm going to be mad. <laughs> I got oh, had. I and there's two clips now. No. <laughs> don't know what that means. Also, staff, I gave the most relevant link to uh, the character I mentioned. Let me check it out. The utter confusion that she created. Who is Donna Troy? Holy hell, this Quest thing's least rock its own read <laughs> to your own adventure book. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Can I look at memory has successfully had me? Give, give, let's give him a hand. Give him a hand. There we go. My autobiography. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> My autobiography is just a blank book and it says fill it in yourself. DIY. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> Safi, Donna Troy, her origin story, she had three of them at the same time that were all canon. Don't you? Yeah, but I'm special. <laughs> yeah, they managed to not know who she was supposed to be at first. So none of the writers had any idea what they were doing and just kept making up origin stories. But they never said the other ones were wrong. So no one actually knew who she was. Donna Troy, backstory extraordinaire. Let's get the Mega Global Transformation. Which honestly is the player. Oh great, the Mega Global Donna fell Troy. from the fucking world. That's great. What? Uh, Donna Troy originally, Claire, was supposed to be a teenage version of Wonder Woman from a time travel story. And that appeared on a cover because this was like the 70s and those things happened. But the next writer, who came two years later, didn't bother asking about that issue or reading it. So he saw a teenage Wonder Woman and was like, oh, Cool, we'll have Wonder Girl appear in this issue, and she'll be a different person. Who interacted with a time-traveled teenage Wonder Woman. Oh god. Heck. So they made her her own character and said she was an Amazonian. But then, they also had a different backstory where she was a human who gained Amazon powers by finding bracelets. So she was a time-traveled Wonder Woman clone, Amazon human. Awesome. Can we yeah, have more backstory, have please? Yes, they did, actually. The fun never stops! Well, with DC, it sure felt us in the house. I mean, they've kept going. <laughs> Yeah, but they stopped having fun for about 10 years there. The whole New 52 was aggressively depressing. How so? Okay, you wanna know how they introduce the Joker? They rip his face off, and then he staples it back Oh, on. I can't hatch. Oh, goddammit. 
Why? Actually, the only fun character who wasn't just a straight up dick was the Flash. Like, even Superman was just turned into a dick. It's not what heroes are supposed to be. Yeah, according to DC, that's how you write real of them. DC or Marvel? Do I, I don't I don't read comics, so I can't answer that question either or. Wait, for what? Someone has asked me DC or Marvel, and I'm like, I can't answer that question. I prefer Marvel for the most part. Like, Marvel's more consistently somewhere in the middle, while DC is either really good or, for the most part, hiring Frank Miller. Also known as awful. <laughs> I just, I just love how you classify it as hiring Frank Miller. Hey, Frank Miller can, can sometimes produce work that is good. Yeah, in Sin City. Yeah, he made Sin City, and then he was in like, 93. "What if I kept making Sin City?" <laughs> well, Frank, I think that'd be a better idea. Sin City. It I like the Kazoo Dragon transformation. I like it. Also, Marvel kicks the crap out of DC when it actually comes to movies not sucking. Marvel made Thor Ragnarok and Logan hmm? and Civil War and the first Guardians of the Galaxy. DC made uh, Suicide Squad. One of those movies is not like the others. One of them had my eight-year-old Korean student come up to me and tell me it was awful. <laughs> God, I remember that day. Hey, now Lucas, like I heard you saw Carl's Suicide Squad. What'd you think about it? The Joker was terrible. It transcends uh, language barriers on just how awful the Joker was in that movie. But it was great. Lots of people said it was great. They did? Yeah, a lot of people said they liked Suicide Squad. Ooh. Okay, aside from Bella. No, it's apparently a, there's like a, a big audience for it, at least. Not that big, it sure failed at the box office. Okay. I don't know. I just heard that there's a, yeah. that, that there was a, uh, there's enough vocal supporters to make it vocal support, to have vocal support. Yeah, but Claire found that for uh, Now You See Me. Yeah, just one guy. <laughs> just one what? guy with eight sock puppets. Uh, it, it might as well have been. It was a guy who was running a roleplay blog where he shipped literally every character he was playing gay with him, his, his character. Oh my goodness. And the said one negative thing about Now You See Me. Yeah, so, and he, he had to step in. It was kind of like that one person who actually liked the uh, Wizard of Oz movie. Not the Wizard of Oz, um... All great and powerful. Yeah, I was about to say. I still remember when uh, Skittles saw that movie. And I asked him what he thought of it. He, he just straight up told me, Xyla, never see this movie. You will hate it. <laughs> what do you mean? You can't shut off your brain and just enjoy the special effects. <sighs> he told me that was its redeeming quality. It was pretty. She pretty. I told him he's right. I'd hate it. <laughs> I get South South Park with Stick of Truth if only I cared about South Park. Oh man, that game's like two hours long, hell yeah, 60 buck price. Don't worry, it's got fetch quests, and makes fun of them, but still makes you do them. The, like, those games are like the best games, the height of game design, when you just, you put in boring, uninspired game elements, but if you make fun of them, it's hilarious. I, I love those games, I love how, how it completely mis under, just doesn't understand that the important part of self-reflection is to acknowledge, and to fix it. Yes. Like, uh, Undertale, with the stupid, overcomplicated floor uh, tile game. Yep. And then makes a joke out of you just going in a straight line. Yep. Yeah. See, that is fixing it and getting around the problem while making a good point about it. 
Undertale is not the funny thing is the second time you see it, you can't actually solve it. There is an answer to it, and it a lot and accepts it. It's great. Yeah. Oh yeah, I heard about that. There was there was actually an answer to the. Uh... Well, see, we need Toby Fox to release Undertale, like Iron Mode, where he <laughs> literally, literally everything from a leaf falling on you to Sans trying to feed you something to kill you. Then again, like I said, we're in that time period now that if you even mention Undertale, people cringe, groan, and say that it's hey, terrible. Claire, the number one gamer of all time who knows everything, you guys buying Penny Arcade, they told me that Undertale doesn't even qualify as a game. Why not? Uh, what was it? He rambled for a while about how... It was a game for hipsters. Yeah, no, it was a game for teenagers who were trying to be part of some in-crowd thing. But then it's still a game. Yeah, but... His point was stupid, and then his other point, where he said the Order 1886 was the best shooter of the year, just totally undercut everything he said. I think that the just that I think that just kind of says no, you you know, you you are officially done with the video game industry. Do not collect money as you pass start. Just go, <laughs> just go. Yeah. Please I'm collect your that. your kick to the groin by by Claire. <laughs> Honestly. I love the Penny Arcade people because they've made jokes before about the old people who talk about how great things were when they were growing up. That's them now. They're the mid-40s guy talking about how great the SNES was. I will never become that because as I play banjo Kazooie and banjo Tui, all I can see is how, how their flaws stand out. I can see games with a lot of flaws, like old ones, like Crazy Taxi. Definitely flawed me. I still enjoy it for what it was. But gaming has come a really long way. Yup. In some ways good, some ways bad. Like, the indie scene. We get occasional absolute gems like Undertale or, or Subnautica. Or Night in the Woods. Yeah, or Night in the Woods. Or Ori in the Blind Forest. It was beautiful. But then we also have the modern mainstream gaming. <laughs> We get the occasional gem, like God of War, also known as the worst part of the game is that the other ones exist. Or we get Horizon Zero Dawn, which is great. But then we get 400 million games of loot boxes, unnecessary RPG systems, and pay-to-win systems. I mean, the mainstream games are not inventive like they used to be. Like, I remember the N64 days when nothing made sense ever. What, you want a flight simulator game? Screw it, here's one where you're a bumblebee with a laser gun. Heck. How does it control? We don't know yet. We haven't gotten there. N64, we've not figured this out. We don't know what's going on. It sure made everything interesting, but it also made it really hard to figure out what I actually wanted to play. What's that, kid? You want to play Superman? Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. Did you? Oh, wow. Yeah, back many years ago, we had a blockbuster in my hometown, right? And That's a thing. You could, and you could rent consoles. Whoa. So we occasionally would rent an N64 and get a couple games, which is where I first played Star Fox. And then one time I rented Superman 64. <laughs> that ruined my week. <laughs> <laughs> you you could say it it shaped my entire childhood for the better. And by better, I mean I am now a serial murderer. I was 6. I I well, only rented I can't play that first. game now. <laughs> <laughs> How the times have gone. Yeah, that's a big rip. Rip and pepperoni. What's the rip? I'm dying so much. <laughs> Just fucking around a whole bunch. Oh, yeah, that's fun to do sometimes. <sighs> Hmm? 
You ever go back to a game that you played when you were much younger, and then just realize you suddenly suck at this game? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember, there's a game I played when I was like, 10. And I would consistently do really well in it. Then I went back and played it more recently, I'm like, how did I do this? I mean, you might have just gotten rusty, or maybe you only remember the times you won. I also can't remember what game it was. But I, I mean, remember I, remember I was really good game. at it at some point. Well, I remember playing it more recently, but I can't remember which game it was off the top of my head. Ooh. That's like 22 more than I usually get because I usually have two people I'm already talking to if I ever stream something. Let me take a look. Let me see. Let me see what the viewer list is. We got Aronch as a new guy. We got Green Eyed Satan. What a name. Meyer 74. Norma Bram. And we got Rooch with a zero in there. And then we got Churier. I don't. I'm even gonna bother with that name. Just Chew yourself up. Fix your own goddamn bus. There goes my phone. Let's see what it has to say. Nothing. I got a WhatsApp message. Ooh, we're gonna get a follow in a few seconds, I think. Oh my god. I love the amount of times recently that people are like, hey, go go search your own dinner out, and they say it like way late in the day, and I'm like, what the fuck, man? Give me a heads up ahead of time. What time is it for you again? How many it's hours two, are you? But the amount of times it's been like later than two is significant. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, I just always grab food on my way home. We're making. We will make it. There we go. There we go. Oh, actually, it's two people. Whoa. Heck. You have been doubled what you it's expected. It's Meyer 74. And there goes another one. Heck, it's playing that sound like all the goddamn time now. And it's the cookie butter. Heck. Big famous. Come on, just talk to him. Oh. I hate it how you have to wait until Banjo enters the idle animation to talk to things. Uh -huh, I'm scared. Oh my god, someone someone is accusing me of, of claiming this was a Christian stream. What? It's it's a thing people say. Yes, I got fall proof. Thank God. We are all very Christian here. Do not do not, do not be afraid. M. Rockle will come down, judge us all. Oof. I don't think that's Christian, Claire. It's Christian now. It's called New Age Christian. I'm pretty sure M. Rockle is not a Christian. <laughs> New Age Metro Christian. <laughs> 15 followers. Oh, they're coming in hard and fast. I better wear a hat. No reason. I just want to wear a hat. Or whatever that Celtic thing, old god thing was that, like, if you, you're, I don't know. Bad, it wouldn't impale you on a tree. Green Eyed Satan Bad. is following me now. This is no longer a Christian stream, I'm afraid. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> there goes the neighborhood! Lucifer Luca, Luca is here, and. He is ready to bake cookies. What's this about cookies? Non gluten cookies. Take, take your goddamn gluten free gluten. cookie. Oh man! Okay, my hey, Walmart. At least, at least, Green Eye Satan apologizes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> what, was it Dead what was it? Deadpool said, uh, "I was just rounding up all the gluten in the world so it can't not hurt us anymore." Oh man! I, my local Walmart got this huge section dedicated to just organic, like beautiful organic, non-fat, non-carb, GMO, <laughs> non-GMO food. And none of it actually looks like food. It's kind of freaking me out. And oh. I walked past one, and one box was non-ice cream caramel salted ice cream. Like, what? 
does that mean? Not don't you mean non dairy? No, it's just it's it's ice cream, but not ice cream. It's non dairy, non GMO, grown in God's country, caramel salted ice cream. <laughs> Oh, but don't worry, it, it was, uh, two bars for, like, eight bucks. Because, you know, it's organic. Everyone else that, like, you walk past that, and if it has organic on the box, it's just, like, $30 for no reason. PayPal has actually blocked a video game to be used uh, to purchase using its service. Oh, I actually know what game this is. What's this about, Claire? It's that, like, trying to stir up bullcrap stupid shooter game called Active Shooter where it's based, it's a school shooting simulator. Oh no. Yeah, it got yanked off of Steam because it was really clear what the person was doing. But no, don't worry, the guy's like going, Oh, people are just trying to censor us, man. It's <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <sighs> PayPal has... Yeah, PayPal has now blocked it. You cannot purchase it with PayPal. That's amusing, actually. Computer, why are you trying to save stuff under the C file? C files again. That's my small drive. That's my SSD. That's your Claire Joe. Well, that's it's a much smaller drive, so I don't save anything there. Because that's my program file. Twenty six viewers were breaching new heights every day. Yeah, apparently it started saving a bunch of stuff to uh my C drive. Rude. Give it a kick in the groin. Yeah. I'm going to, but then I won't have a C drive. You don't need a C drive or we're going. My God. We're going to a place where we still have A and B drives. No. No. We're going to the dark times. Perhaps. Mayhap! Oh, great. This is great. Apparently. Talk. This 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 sequence for this particular fucking door varies from game to game. I thought it was a set one. Chat moving so no chat is not moving fast enough for people to read that you're gay. Sorry about that, can I look at memory? And I am playing on a emulator Hydrologic. Because I'm not gonna hook shit up. Um Nintendo's gonna get you. It's like, hey, well, we wanna see the original cartridge. <laughs> Do you think that that law? I have heard that law has been enforced a couple times at least. Where I, I swear I got the original game cartridges in my basement. Show them, man. Show them. Guy gets shot for holding up a uh, let 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 the Zelda link to the past Super Nintendo cartridge. God, oh, what was that from? It was really funny. I, I, I honestly, at this point, I doubt that law would get enforced much anymore because I mean, it's getting to that point where you'll either just not never be able to find those cartridges or they won't. It, it would be, I don't know, hard to get them to work now. Um, or, well, no. In a lot I, of cases, they won't work at all because the batteries internally, which are proprietary, are not being produced. I thought that was, I thought that was Game Boy Color that had that That's problem. anything with a battery saving fun. Oh, that's lame. Yeah, it's actually going to be a problem, which is why there's a uh, big drive to try to save the original experience of all those old games, because the original experience is going to be lost with emulate with a lot of emulators that you can't get the exact same way of playing them. Well, let's yeah. let's let's be honest. Is that really necessary? I mean, if you look at something like the Night Watch, that painting is not what it was back then. Yeah, but a lot of people don't want to lose as much as we're going to. Because our generation is one of the easiest to lose. Huh. One of the easiest? Everything we have. Yeah. Everyone acts like... Everyone says when you put something on the internet, it's there forever. Mm. It means that you can't erase it. 
but the storage mediums we use don't last that long. I mean, considering the fact that I can't access my old Shishiart account, that should say a lot. Yeah. I have to go to Wayback um, Archive, and, and I looked at it, and I was like, holy fuck, I'm glad this is gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hugs. Um... But there is a big uh, thought these days that in a hundred years, there won't be that much of our generation. Because everything we do is digital. It turns out the books and were better than for long-term storage after all. Yeah, the more we can store, the easier it is to lose it. Yep, because it's so small the you price can't read it. The price of complexity is entropy. Oh, that's a great way to put it. I love it! Let's put it in a picture frame and hang it over my bed! Man, Ooh, you gotta I, just I did a fancy tech Zala. Someone make a clip I out of that and one... give it to the cops. What, give you one cookie. You know, once I almost got an original copy of Earthbound for the Super Nintendo. You know how expensive that would be? Or, well, it was really expensive back when that happened. I almost got it for 20 bucks because this guy didn't even know what it was. My sister, knowing that I would have something, went to the, this dude's house and actually got a quote for what he could possibly get for it. Because my sisters are horrible people. <laughs> Just terrible people. Terrible purple. It was because I wouldn't give her money. So when she found out I was uh, purchasing something with money and she knew it was valuable, which I'm not sure how she knew, uh, she needed to destroy that. Because low grade sociopath or sadist, it's one of those. Boots. Wade and Boots. Which for some reason this game looked vastly different than they did in the original. And they turn out small little booties instead of big booties. I prefer big boots. I know. They look so they look so chunky now, instead of before when they were long and sexy. Mm. What did you, what did, what did they do to your boots? More boots, no pants. <laughs> big pants. boots, no pants. You have big boots, no pants. Thank you, Gwen. <laughs> also, um, straight up, so I'm gonna say that uh, there's one thing that I think makes Arch Timber Valhazog actually hardcore doable. He is very easy to stun for some reason. Yeah, I've noticed. Like, several times I thought he was trying to fake me out, was because I just had stunned him. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's super easy to stun. I'm almost. Mind you. I, by the way, I did test this too. I had two defense jewels, defense buff from meal, defense buff from armor, yada yada. I have my lance, you know, ready. Reduces my damage on oncoming. Uh, he breathed on me. It one shot me anyway. Yeah, he took out most of my stuff pretty easily. So you just got so, yeah, really that, dodging. Yeah, so that, that, that beam of his is straight up a kill. <laughs> then again, I've been hearing that all night with people going into random groups and carding within three minutes. Why do people go to random groups against an Emperor? Because some people aren't Xyla, and some people don't have friends. I would hug those people and hunt with them, but... I don't know who they are, so I don't want to go in there. Plus, it, one of the things is, people don't- people were like, Oh, it's just gonna be Balzac more damage like Kieran was. Nah, they changed him actually. A lot. Took me one try to get used to him. About the, the only thing I'm not used to, it took me a, a, two tries to get used to the fact that he does double damage now with his uh, Fluvia spread. Or at least it seems like it does that sometimes. I don't know. He's a dragon. He wears corpses. He's kind of gross. He's a rowdy, dirty, smelly boy. So far, the biggest reasons he's killing me is um, actually a new feature he has. What, when he roars, he does wind pressure. No. I noticed. Yeah, so he, he can stun you technically twice. 
or this really fun re uh, fun fun way I died was doing really good, right, Zal? Odo Garen appeared. So I'm like, good, Odo Garen's gonna attack Valhazak. Valhazak's charging his death beam. Alright, gotta put my shield up. Odo Garen runs up, roars at me, stunning me into the death beam. <laughs> That's the Oda power of teamwork. <laughs> the muscle puppy ran up and just griefed my hunt. <laughs> And then I hear turf war. I'm like, okay, so he he got me out of the way so he can take the hunt. <laughs> you don't even know what you're doing. I, I got I got Valazak. I got it. Me. He died. Oh uh, my gosh! A jumping spider backpack. What? What? Oh, and it's hand sewn. And looks so. I'm posting this in the Bugo repository. This is amazing looking. I bet this is extremely expensive. I don't have any stream trading cards. Steam trading cards that I don't want. I just I just sit on them. I feel like there's a bunch lying around. I just they're there. I just One don't day, want to turn on the mobile authenticator, you know? That's the thing, I have to get my mobile authenticator back on so I can sell them without waiting five years. <laughs> yeah, when the value just like drops to it. Barely a half a cent. I never even considered using them for money. I mean, I used to just because I had no money, but now it's like I have a job, so. I, I literally just bought you three games because. Or did I buy two games? Two games. Okay. No, you got me three. You got me three. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess you. <laughs> I got you fake Crazy Taxi, because it had it its uh, song. I'm sorry to say that's the big reason I wouldn't would, I wouldn't get it, because it's just it's like it's like taking its soul away. It's like hell, it'd be even weirder if they just replaced it randomly. Like you, you turn on Crazy Taxi, it's like, oh man, you ready to do some Crazy Taxi? It's all, it's all like all small for no reason, going yeah, and then you hear it. Trust in me. <laughs> It starts to play City Escape for no reason. You know, in the background, I'm gonna start playing the song while I play it, right? <laughs> City Escape? Okay. No, Set the free. the right song. Oh, yeah, the Crazy Taxi song. No bully. So I was, I was thinking, you had me thinking about that though, Zal, since they took away that song from Crazy Taxi, right? <laughs> what if they do that to games where the entire soundtrack is just a bunch of licensed songs? Like, what if one day, for no reason, Brutal Legend just loses every single song? I remember what happened to Alan Wake. <laughs> yeah. Like, you turn on Brutal Legend and like, Are you ready to rock with some heavy metal? Yeah, alright! Three, two, one! And there's like five minutes of complete silence. <laughs> As Jack Black looks really awkward in the background. <laughs> Isn't that just normally how he looks? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> what, what was kind of weird was the opening, like, really goofy sounding song that wasn't heavy metal. Girlfriend! Uh, people thought that was, like, a made up song to make fun of, like, new age metal people or whatever, but that was actually a real song. Because the entire soundtrack was just real music. I can't remember what the band was called, like, Lettuce Balls or something? Imagine a fakey heavy metal band that sounds like a boy band got lost. I think they were just put in there just because, I don't know, one of the producer people really liked them. But, I mean, I'm not going to start saying anything good about Tim Schafer because I hate him. <laughs> Why so bully? <laughs> well, like I said, I, I'm not getting anything from Double Fine anymore. I, I, well, I, that's the, I've, I've actually really stuck to, to that. I don't care about talking about Stu. No bully. Most I've done in recent years is buy Saganauts for the PS4 just because I do like Saganauts. I just dislike Tim Schafer quite a bit. And I dislike Double Fine. But that's you know, obvious. Yeah, you've said that a bunch of times. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you don't like how we develop our game? Well, we're just going to quit develop it. You can do it yourself. What? <laughs> that's what they did. 
they they pissed off several people about this game called Space Base DF9 or whatever. Oh, I heard about this. Yes. Yeah, and it, it like it wasn't finished, and they just said, "We're moving on to other projects, but we have faith that our community will like finish the game for us." It's not how communities work. It's like you are literal scum. <laughs> To, and to make it up to the people about Space Base, they got like a 50% off coupon, or, or no, they got a free copy of the other early access game they're working on, called uh, Hack and Slash, that was also left unfinished because that was the joke, you're in a glitchy game world. Holy shit. So, yeah, the, I think the development just sort of halted in that game too, because they tried, they were basically pulling the whole... Well, it's supposed to be like a goofy meta kind of game, so of course the world's unfinished too. Wink, wink. God, I hate it when people do that. Man, look how meta we are. That means you're not going to finish the game. I mean, what they had with the game was really fun. It's just they... Well, they just gave up. Cause it, it was... Because it allows you to screw... It allows you very easily to mess with the game's code, to, and it was used pretty well as a game mechanic to get through the game, and it was really funny. Like, you could hack a monster spawning point to produce turtles that you could knock into a lake to create a, a bridge for yourself. But you could set it to where it would spawn, like, no limit of turtles and spawn the turtles way too fast, and you would actually crash the game in real life. <laughs> it, it was kind of cool, actually. For, like, five minutes, then I got bored. <laughs> So what we should what should we do? Well, it looks like we have to do a very uh, an incredibly mediocre and tedious side quest. Oh, I'm just sitting there going, "Well, that was kind of funny." Actually, is doing the quest. Okay, now it's less funny. Every single time. Every single time. I want this. Oh, to say, the '90s did give us a lot of really good. Like iconic soundtracks. Oh yeah. Especially because of the, my one true nostalgia song. You see, I played the first Tony Hawk, and thus Claire should know what song I'm talking about. Smash Mouth. No. <laughs> hey, now you're an all-star. For one, Smash Mouth is the band. The song is called All Star. Yeah, Baby Claire! I'm, I'm gonna let you know a secret. I actually didn't know that for a long time. There it's it is. Just, there is my true nostalgia song. Everyone, everyone, ooh, nostalgia song. Everyone just kept saying, calling it Smash Mouth. Ah, Goldfinger. Yeah, this song is like the song of me growing up. Yeah. Heck. I got 20 consistent viewers. I'm great, I'm powerful, I'm strong. Great and powerful Safi. Heck! You wanna... You, um, you know, I'm gonna link, uh... The soundtrack of, of my, my childhood and growing up. It's just a lullaby. Yeah, no, 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 don't worry. Uh, let's see. YouTube, Google, bus... Exploding. <laughs> they don't actually play that. I'm streaming. I, I don't wanna get in trouble. <laughs> You're gonna go in jail. Um, yeah, I'm already going to jail. I, I was watching some a Darkest Dungeon stream the other day, and the guy lost his music because he was streaming the game with the music on. He got DMCA'd by the company itself. Like, oh, he's playing your game. The music's copyrighted. Yeah, because it's in the game. You made it. He's playing it. It's copyrighted. DMCA. Okay. <laughs> It's not weird, but all right. Now I'm gonna have Superman Goldfinger stuck in my head. You're welcome. This is not the Doom thing, Claire. <laughs> no, <laughs> Claire. <laughs> Baby, no. I still love the bell. I just <laughs> oh, there's the Doom thing. Well, yeah. Make we we ruined Bella in some fashion. We broke Bella. We, like now every song is the, is uh, Megalovania. Megalovania. Oh yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna be losing my Steam account again. I made someone mad about it again. Ah, uh, you killed someone. 
I no, he he. See, that's a, another the weird part. It was one of those really obnoxious people who can't just win. He has to like really make sure you know he won. Thing is, I, I, I let him go because I didn't feel like chasing him. He was the last one alive, and he was on death hook, so if I downed him again, you know, okay. he'd be over. Yeah, I was more interested in the... What the heck uh, is focus assist? It makes you think better. Oh, Wait, look for, at that frame rate. What? <laughs> it shows up, it's like, here's a focus assist held for you. I don't know. Loses all cohesion. <laughs> right, um. So, you know, he escaped through the hatch, which I consider a full four man game if it takes the person to escape by running through the, you know, the doing up the past. Button. Yeah, the, the instant escape tile on the floor. But, uh, he's like, man, you're terrible. Who, me? Yeah, he didn't even hit me once. It was so easy be beating you. And I even told him, I was like, you were on Death Hook. That means I hit you at least, let's see, six times or so? I also hit him a bunch of times where he just killed himself off. It's like, nah, he didn't even hit me once. Okay, man. Shut up, killer. Okay, man. And <laughs> every time I. It's like he also had to get the last word too, because anytime I just like respond with, okay, or K, he just. He kept going. It's Canary Mary, and they're fucking break your thumb game. I hated those games that were really popular for a while back then. Oh, the button mash game. This one's worse because it's not just button mash, it's also with rubber banding! Oh, with rubber band AI too? That's just not cool. We call this Go Fuck Yourself Land. And there's a reason <laughs> for it, and it's because of how this level. This level just fucking sucks, man. This level is, like, better than Click Clock Woods, but at the same time, it's like, you know, you know, you know, you know, just, just, you, you know. know, you know what it feels like to having to better, shit. better watch out, because next time you won't even be able to touch me. Like, all right, man. I have to change my <laughs> controller for this. Adds to, adds to report list as just another one of those people. I, I get them a lot. I just kind of wish people would have just a bit more self awareness. <clears throat> self awareness on the internet. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, it's like he didn't—he doesn't understand why he survived. Like he didn't understand. Oh man, killer hit me. <laughs> good. He good. He didn't. He he didn't chase me. Guess he lost me. Downs another person. Kills them. <laughs> I'm so good. Downs another one of his teammates. Kills them. Gosh dang. Maybe I should help one of my teammates. Nah, I'm just too good at this game. <laughs> Kill the last person. <laughs> See, this is supposed to be a team-based game when it's when you survive. <laughs> but I think I think it goes hand in hand with these like really cocky, arrogant Can people. I cannot allocate memory. Which no. Is 86 mining in room escape. It's just kind of weird. Then I, I guess those people do exist. Like, is there a word for that? Where? They think they're really good, but they're not helping anyone around them. And everyone around them's like, you know, in Blind need of help. arrogance. Yeah, I think Safi's probably right on that one. That's just... In my point of view, that's like really sad. I try to get rid of those people, actually, because... Yeah, well, it is extremely sad. Actually, oh, you know what? Yeah, I should have played that different. I should have got rid of him first. I, I just... Nah, I just realized that. Yeah, I try really, I mean, since I don't really care about winning, I'm just trying to get points and have fun. If I actually see someone playing like that, I try to just get rid of them. Um, Shadowbrand, yes, I have mentioned the hidden Beepus in Pterodactyl Land. Pterodactyl Land, yeah. Pterodactyl Land has a hidden Beepus. There's an island near uh, Mumbo's place where it's a, it's a cock and ball spitting out little balls. <laughs> From above. But, um, <laughs> what? The hidden beepus. What? 
This sounds like drugs. Safi, are you on the drugs? No. Oh man, we got another Florida man report. This one's pretty big. Uh, local ga uh, <laughs> gator found dropped off at local gas station. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, apparently uh, Florida man uh, went to a gas station and just placed a gator next to a soda machine and left. <laughs> She's like, I'll just leave this here. Yeah, I was like... Y'all can no deal with it. Fun fact, no one in Florida was bothered or even noticed <laughs> for hours because it's Florida. Actually, I think that's just how Florida is. It's like, you see a giant gator, and there you go. I want you to notice how close Canary Mary is, despite the fact this is going on an auto... Uh, look at that. Look at that shit. I lost. I lost. This thing is tapping. How fast is this thing tapping? Let's just turn off. Um, this thing is tapping oh, every fifth... Every five hundredth of a second. Let's put, let's put that up a little higher. Okay, so they actually—it wasn't just in the soda machine. They actually walked inside of a store and put it in the, put it next to a soda machine within the store. So there was just like an alligator in 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 a store. Okay, I I, I, I can see why people could be kind of freaked out by that. I mean. I would first offer the gator a drink. Maybe he was thirsty. That'd just be, that'd just be nice. That would be courteous. I mean, he has no thumbs and clearly cannot reach the buttons to place his money in. The closest he could probably reach is like a diet undo, and who wants that? Yeah, him, he would probably just probably die at that point. Yeah. I'd get him a nice, delicious drink. He'd go home, share stories. Pull up a nice pot, preheat the oven, eat the gator, <laughs> <laughs> eat the gator, because I love alligator, it's delicious. Um. But hey. Uh, bonus, I did not get told to die to, uh, today, so pretty okay. <laughs> it's better It's better than the average. <laughs> I've, I have had one fear of, like, these kind of people, though. Like, I get one of those, like, super hard quit, uh, prick people who just, like, don't, since they can't add me, they add one of my friends and harass them. I don't want, like, I don't want that to happen. Mind you, I'm pretty sure people will just block morons like that. Sala gets added. Hey, your stupid friend sucks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you just, you just block them, and then they just sit there in the room. Why does no one give me attention? I don't know. Why not, Fatal Claire? Oh yeah, I somehow beat a lag switcher today. I was proud of myself. He, he was being sort a lag switcher where they like they mess with their connection to gain an edge over someone. Oh. Like he was. I I didn't think he was. I thought he was hacking at first, but because I was able to even get him at all, shows he wasn't really hacking. He was being slightly clever with it, but his arrogance started to get better on Because I started to realize that it's kind of weird that when I swing at someone, they are suddenly behind me. Nothing personnel, kid. Yeah, just... He screwed up when um, I hooked someone else, and suddenly he was right next to them when I turned around like, Ah! <laughs> That's what you're doing. Well, buddy, we got I, we got a problem because I have a small counter to lag switchers. There's actually just one counter. He kept vaulting to like make a fake infinite with his lag switching, so I hit him on the vault. Fortunately, the gears didn't turn in his brain, so he went to vault again and I hit him. When you're in that animation vaulting, there's nothing about lag anymore. It's just you're vaulting. You can't you can't toggle your connection to. 
<laughs> cancel parkour. Because you're in the middle of a set animation. Yep. Why are the war pads in this place again? I don't recall there being many. Get yeah. all the puzzle pieces. I think I'm going to call the quits here for the stream. Because this place fucking sucks. It's got a cheese on it, though. There's a big cheese somewhere. I want some cheese. Oh, I didn't get cheese, did I? Oh, yeah, that's right. There was no cheese. There was no cheese. I swear, I'm going to stores for food at just, I guess, the weird times. I, I think I mentioned, I'm not sure if I mentioned it to Safi. I went to get pizza once at a grocery store. Their entire frozen pizza section was gone. Cool. All I need to do is get 50 followers, and I'll be an affiliate. Then I'll be strong. Who watches the watchers? Well, who watches the watchers? This was this was great. I, I had a blast. This was this was good. It was nice that some people joined in and said hello. I started talking about fucking wanting to buy cheese. Yeah, we're here. Cheese is good. Brought up. What makes you think you can go around talking about cheeses, Claire? Heck, then I went to Walmart and they had literally no pizza, like or anything, except mushroom and Swiss pizza. <laughs> what kind of sadistic monster? Or even once that. I mean, I don't mind mushrooms, but when I'm getting a pizza, what do I want? A meat pizza with meat on it, not some. Day. If I want some mushrooms, I'll go to the Chinese place and get some mushrooms in that brown sauce that I'm wondering if it has a name. The menu say brown sauce. What is it? Zal? You're you're in China. What is that? Why does it have a There's sign like here? Seven brown sauce. Sign it. It's like, oh, we, we can fix cards, can also fix mice. It's like for a clue for like the mice, mice and the gap to save can canary Mary. And it's like, what? Oh, yeah, I love the enemies in, in, in Cloud Kaku Land because they're these weird flat fucking fuckers that make it look like this whole place is unfinished. And what is this all about? Brown sauce? It's like five brown sauces. Okay, you know what a triple crown is, right? Claire, I'm in actual China. Dang it. <sighs> I'm gonna have to ask someone who's not actually Chinese but is in a Chinese restaurant. What is the brown sauce? I'm just wondering if they just call it the brown sauce because they think we're stupid. I, like, I, I, I would like to hear what the sauce is. <sighs> Where's the menu? Oh, dang, I just realized in the next two weeks we'll have to clean up this room. Ugh. And then move. Ew. That's gross. No, I'm gonna tell my dad that maybe we should wait until shutdown week so I have a week to, you know, not be interrupted. Because let me tell you, I'm not gonna work on the dang house turn work. <laughs> that, that, that can go right in a box. Hell, they, they named Szechuan sauce, Szechuan Triple Crown, sautéed shrimp, chicken, beef, with mixed vegetable, and Szechuan sauce. Szechuan sauce? Szechuan sauce. Isn't that the Rick and Morty sauce? <laughs> Here it's called the Internet Famous Sauce. Oh my god, they Rick and Morty! I mean, Sam, if you just mentioned that, I just got smarter. No further comment needed. <laughs> post a Rick gif. <laughs> yeah, post a Rick gif. It's sometimes difficult being this smart, but not for me. No for the common needed. And with that, we have the final move in the game. Wow. Here he goes, Al as a fox. This is for you. Somewhere, everywhere, at some point, there's a fox. Who wants a snack? Give the fox the snack. Yeah. Oh, I okay, I found the no further common needed post because it's, uh, it it's Rick Sanchez going up against uh, Night Shift post. Conan O'Brien. You know, Claire, you know what I wish there was in, uh, Valkyria Chronicles? I go to the deployment screen to deploy my soldiers.
Yeah. I go and I see what their abilities are. I really wish it would tell me what they are. Anyway, let's take a look who's in the stream now. If anyone new shows up, we've got Al Al Alunda, 91. We've got Kach, 845. Heatherby, 33. Lux Link. And uh, whatever. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Goodbye, Rhodes. Great for having you. Thumbs up. Anyone else want to say goodbye? Goodbye. I started off with, with I have like quadrupled my views. Wow. And I got two clips, whatever those are. I need to figure out what clips are. Oh, they're over here. Let's take a look. Clips of my channel, thank you. <gasps> There's only one clip. It said I... Oh, whatever. Whatever. Whatever stream. You, you lie to me. Goodbye.